Welcome to CLMD Connect. In support to the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan LCP. I teach. Integrating Technology Academic Community. The Household. Ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Edokali. This is Dep Ed Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao region. Hello Philippines! Magandang umaga po sa lahat at maayong buntag Mindanao. Good morning Davao City and of course to all the divisions in Davao region, maayong buntag sa inyong tanan. And of course, sa lahat po ng aming makakasama sa webinar na ito, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Bago po tayo magpatuloy, ipopost ko po sa inyo muna sa ating screen ang registration link po para sa umagang ito. Yan po ang magiging attendance po ninyo para po uh, kayo ay maitala sa aming uh, record na kayo po ay nakapag, uh, nakadalo sa webinar na ito. Pakipost po ng ating uh, link. Ayan po, ang AM attendance po na link ay nasa screen na po ninyo. At paalala lamang po hanggang alas 10 lamang po ng umaga ang attendance link na yan. Magko-close po siya after 10 a.m. So, pakikunan nyo na po, i-screenshot nyo na, at nang sa ganun po ay makuha ninyo kung ano ang uh, oras na dapat ninyong ma-submit yan. Okay po. Kasunod po niyan, ipopost din po namin ang uh, pre-test na link. Ang pre-test po na link, ayan po, Simulan nyo na rin pong sagutan while we are ongoing with our webinar since this is the opening program for this five-day regional uh, training of trainers on uh, learning management system. Yan po ang sasagutan yung pre-test at hanggang alas 12 lamang po ng tanghali, yan ay open. Okay po? Ayan. So thank you so much. Maawa po. Uh, uh, Pakilplash po muli, Ma'am Lutz, yung ating attendance. Link para po makita ng lahat. Ayan. Okay. Attendance link. At saka kasunod po ang ating um, pre-test link. Ayan. So thank you so much po. Okay. Magpapatuloy na po tayo sa ating uh, webinar na ito. At bago ang lahat, magbibigay po gay po tayo sa ating pambansang awit. Susundan po yan ang panalangin at ang pag-awit ng ating regional hymn.
pinanggang yuta ay mukhi apong halaping taas Haring agilan na sudnong langgang walin walin haras sa kamulakan May ulawan ng haring durya Lubi ang saging hugas damian Yutang gimahal sa dawawelyo Makugi ang mga tao Ang milangku mga probinsya Mga dakbayan na kahiusap Tuuhan nga Diyos Dabaw de Oro, Dabaw Oriental Del Norte Occidental Del Sur, Siyudad sa Dabaw Panabutagong Sa Mal Island, Matiugigos Dabaw Region, Gipanalipdan Mga Bahan Kinaiyahan Yutang tabunok Daghan ang lindot Nga kapanginabuhian Garbo sa tanan Ng Davao Region Among yutang Aghipanggan Welcome to CLMD Connect in support to the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan LCP. I teach. Integrating Technology Academic Community, the Household. Ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Edokalidot. This is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Once again, good morning po sa lahat ng na, nanunood sa amin ngayon. And of course, I would like to say good morning also to our DepEd uh, officials all over the region. Of course, headed by our regional director, Dr. Evelyn Arfit Alvero. And of course, our ARD, Madam Ines Asuncion. Good morning po at sa lahat po ng chiefs ng eight functional divisions ng Region 11, sa lahat po ng schools division superintendent at saka sa assistant schools division superintendent, Kasama po ang kanilang mga CID chiefs and of course, ang kanila din pong mga education program supervisors and PSDSS. Good morning po sa inyong lahat at maraming maraming salamat po muli sa pagsasama patungkol po sa ating RTOT on Learning Management System. Ayan po. So sa umaga pong ito, uh, ipapakilala sa atin ng ating hepe ng Administrative Services Division si Dr. Roy T. Enriquez ang ating mga makakasama sa webinar na ito. Sir Roy, good morning. Good morning, Sir June, and thank you to our Secretary of the Department of Education, Honorable Yunor Magtolis Briones, the Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction, Honorable Justado M. San Antonio, the Regional Director of DepEd Region 11, Dr. Evelyn R. Fitalvero, the Assistant Regional Director, Dr. Maria Inis C. Asuncion, the Schools Division Superintendents of DepEd Region 11, the Assistant Schools Division Superintendents, the Chief of the Curriculum Learning and Management Division, Dr. Janet G. Beloso, the Chiefs of the Functional Divisions of DepEd Regional Office 11, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The task assigned to me today is to introduce the participants of this 5-day regional training of trainers in learning management system or LMS. And I would like to begin with
Regional Director, Dr. Evelyn R. Fitalvero, CESO 4. Assistant Regional Director, Dr. Maria Ines C. Asuncion, CESO 5. Chief of the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Dr. Janet G. Veloso. Chief of Human Resource Development Division, Dr. Lorna F. Mapinogos. Chief Education Support Services Division, Dr. Warlito E. Hua. Chief Plan Policy Planning and Research Division, Dr. Marilyn B. Madrazo. Chief Field Technical Assistance Division, Dr. Mary Jean B. Aldiger. Chief Quality Assurance Division, Sir Genelito S. Atilio. Chief Administrative Services Division, Dr. Roy T. Enriquez. DepEd Region 11 Legal Unit, headed by Attorney Glenn Mark Gudyongan. DepEd 11 ICTU, headed by Engineer Ricardo B. Ginto. Recognizing also our Education Program Supervisors in the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Annalisa C. Almazan, George N. Wong, Mary Jane M. Mejorada, Manuel P. Vallejo, Renato N. Papakin, Maria Liza I. Berandoy. Also, Danilo R. Dujino, Maria Shelo D. Estrada, Pedelina O. Huevos, Jessalyn B. De La Cuesta, and Ma Maricel S. Langahi. Together with us also is the Schools Division Office of Davao City, headed by Schools Division Superintendent Reynaldo M. Guillena, with Assistant Schools Division Superintendents Basilio P. Manaay Jr. and Emma A. Camporidondo. Division of Davao de Oro, we have Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Phoebe Gay L. Rifamonte and Schools Division Superintendent Euphemia T. Gamutin. From the Division of Davao del Norte, Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Romel R. Handayan and Schools Division Superintendent D. D. Silva. Recognizing also our SDO from, the, from Davao del Sur Division, OICSDS Marilyn V. Didoyo and Schools Division Superintendent Nelson C. Lopez. From the Division of Davao Occidental, we have ESDS Jinky B. Ferman and OICSDS Lorenzo E. Mendoza. From the Division of Davao Oriental, OICSDS Esther Jean Pilayo and SDS Reynaldo B. Meliorida. From the Division of Digo City, we have ESDS Melanie P. Estacio and SDS Christy C. Epe. From the Division of Island Garden City of Samal, OICSDS Filomena M. Lopez and OICSDS Winnie E. Batuon. From the Division of Mati City, we have Ma Maria Genevieve T. Francisquete and Ma Alona C. Oy, OICSDS. From the Division of Panabo City, we have ESDS Rebecca C. Sagot and OICSDS Reynante A. Solitario. From the Division of Tagum City, we have Ma'am Christine C. Bagakay, OICSDS, and SDS Josephine L. Fadul. Attending with us also are the simulation teacher facilitators in elementary. Flash on your screens. Next to them is our simulation teachers, facilitators for junior high school. And of course, our simulation teacher facilitators for senior high school. Moving on, we have also participants from our trainers. From the HRDD, we have Lorna F. Mapinogos, Dr. Danilo M. Kanda, Mamara Medrano, Sir Warlito Ihua, Stephen Mark T. Castres, John Arnel P. Villacorte, and Sir Leonidas Jimmy T. Hisoro III. 
Our Region 11 LMS trainers, we have Pucholo C. Hernandez, Computer Programmer, Joshua Wong, CMT1, Lujin M. Masangid, ICT staff, and of course, our LMS developer, Sir Josilito O. Edo. Technical support, yours truly, together with Marjorie Ann Hoverillo, Maureen Ava Aconia, Mark Ayan Banyo, Eugene B. Dorado, Jonathan Clarido, and Joanne Itorma. The Trading Management Secretariat, we have Mam Perpetua G. Batibot, Florence M. Alcazaren, Ana Luna Ganto, Mary Ann H. Acosta, Maria Edet C. Ibanez, Aurora I. Lagrama, Rochelle May Sadaya, Maribel Niebla, headed by Mamaria Jemima V. Gala. Recognizing also our Katame, we have Dr. Brenda Bilonio, Dr. Maflor G. Dingal, Dr. Alfeo B. Ingay, Dr. Herminia a. Bantiden, headed by Chief Genelito S. Atilio. Our radio-based instruction facilitators, or the RBI, headed by Dr. Maricel S. Langahid. We have Marcia May Ibahan, Juniel Razonable, Danilo Manuel, Lourdes A. Navarro, Jodet C. Cadiron, Nexon P. Gore, Roben Dalama, Rosario Sumo, and John Ward Limiket. Recognizing also our CID chief from the division of Davao City together with the elementary, junior high, senior high, PSDS, and EPS, we have Dr. Alma C. Sefra. From the division of Davao de Oro, together with their participants, headed by Chief Jose T. Bolofer. From the division of Davao del Norte, headed by CID Chief Edward C. Abugues, together with the elementary, junior, and senior high teacher participants, together with our PSDS and education program supervisors. From the division of Davao del Sur, headed by CID Chief Sherilyn A. Cometa, together with their teacher participants, PSDSS, and division education program supervisors. From the Division of Davao Occident Occidental, headed by Chief Felix I. Anticristo, together with the Elementary, Junior High, Senior High Teacher Participants, PSDSS, and Division Education Program Supervisors. From the Division of Davao Oriental, headed by OIC Chief Maria Concepcion Wong, together with the participants in Elementary, Junior High, Senior High, PSDSS, and Division Education Program Supervisors. From the Division of Digo City, we have Chief Beverly S. Daogdao, together with their participants and PSDSS and Education Program Supervisors. From the Division of Island Garden City of Samal, headed by CID Chief Chona Calatrava, together with their participants and PSDSS and Division Education Program Supervisors. From the Division of Mati City, headed by Chief Maria Gina, Gina F. Flores, together with their teacher participants, PSDSS, and Division Education Program Supervisors. From the Division of Panabo City, headed by Januario E. Yamota, together with the Elementary, Junior High, Senior High, PSDSS, and Division Education Program Supervisors. And of course, from the Division of Tagum City, headed by CID Chief Maria Fe Cibuan, together with their participants in Elementary, Junior High, Senior High, PSDSS, and Division Education Program Supervisors. Friends, ladies and gentlemen, those are our participants, the members of the management, the top management the members of the training management team, the facilitators and trainers, trainers of this five-day regional training of trainers on in learning management system. Once again, good morning and mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you so much, Dr. Roy T. Enriquez. Moving on. We are going to hear the welcome address to be given to us by our Assistant Regional Director, 
no other than Dr. Maria Ines C. Asuncion. Good morning, madam. Good morning, June. So let me start uh, to greet to our beloved secretary, Honorable Leonor Magdoles Briones, to Under Secretary, Justado San Antonio, to our regional director, Dr. Evelyn R. Fitalvero, to all the school division superintendents and assistant school division superintendents, to all the chiefs of the regional functional divisions and school division offices, to all our supervisors, especially the regional supervisors headed by Chief Janet Veloso, to our trainers and facilitators, our IT, the, RIC, uh, the team of RIC, to our technical support with Mr. June Aguilon, Lu Jean, Cholo, and everyone here present. Welcome to this first ever New Normal Regional Training of Trainers. May I congratulate the Regional Functional Divisions for coming up with this comprehensive training framework spearheaded by CLMD with Dr. Jeanette Veloso and her team. Thank you so much for the great collaboration and cooperation on the part of the Schools Division offices. This is the first phase, the Regional Training of Trainers and will be followed by the school division offices training, then down to the district and cluster and school-based training, which would include the parents training program. To all the trainers and facilitators, we believe in your capacity, passion and commitment to facilitate the next layer of training and the other capacity building in your own area of responsibility. Take an active role all throughout this activity, given that we need to learn new things amid this new normal. Thanks also for all the for the all-out support of our regional director, the powerhouse of the central office. May we not achieve, we may not achieve perfection in all our undertakings, but as coach and champion Vince Lombardi said, perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Therefore, let us all chase perfection in all the tasks given to us so that we can catch excellence. Thank you and good morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Maria Ines Asuncion. At this point, the Chief of the Curriculum and Learning Management Division, Dr. Janet G. Viloso, will introduce our guest speaker. Madam, good morning. Yes, good morning. Yes. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My pleasure to introduce to you our guest speaker this morning. He holds a research of PhD in education from the University of Newcastle, Australia. And he has been tasked to coordinate the ongoing review of the K-12 curriculum. And he also attempts to find ways of ensuring that every learner achieves authentic literacy. He pushes for transparency, ethics, and accountability in school governance. And in addition, he believes that a strong rewards and recognition system is an effective way to encourage officials and teachers to aim for excellence. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction of the Department of Education Central Office. Please welcome Honorable Justado M. San Antonio. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Janet our CLMD chief for that very generous introduction. Uh, good morning, fellow educators and fellow teachers in the Davao region, region 11. In the name of Secretary Leonor Liling Magtolis Briones, who unfortunately cannot join us today, um, I convey the sincerest congratulations and salute from the DepEd Central Office for your effort in being strong and intense in preparing our fellow teachers and fellow school officials 
so that we can deliver the kind of basic education service that our learners deserve. I know, the, and you are also aware that this is really a very trying time. COVID-19 has changed the way everybody in the whole world operates. And this also means that among the different professionals, educators will have to find ways of being able to render basic education services in the most cost beneficial and effective way. We've been listening to the reports presented even by your regional director, Eve, and the other regional directors during our regular MANCO meeting, sharing with us the initiatives and interventions every region has been pursuing. And this actually gives us um, at the Exocom that sense of that, this, that sense of confidence that even if the challenges seem to be Herculean, we will prevail. This is because we know that everybody else, even if, as I've said, our um, observers, is some stakeholders who are not very positive about the kind of preparations we're doing, they imagine that this could be very difficult, but aware that there will be more than 40,000 school heads who are mostly highly competent and committed. And there are more than 200 school superintendents. There are 17 regional directors that will actually contextualize the learning continuity plan prepared by the central office, actually uh, in collaboration with uh, our internal stakeholders and external stakeholders, I know that the job that seems to be impossible will be doable. And of course, um, our strand, particularly curriculum and instruction, has always mentioned that we cannot do this if the principals, if the superintendents, if our fellow teachers are not capacitated. Of course, it has been also pointed out that uh, in terms of the preparation, in terms of capacitating our fellow teachers, we have lots of things to accomplish. But according to our timeline, we are just, um, yeah, we are just on time. So congratulations for taking the step towards making sure that everyone engaged or involved in efforts to deliver basic education services this coming school year is capable. It's really um, stupid to expect people to deliver, to learn how to do modules, how to monitor uh, distance learning in its different modalities if we don't make them capable. Of course, there are a few exceptions who would normally do um, a self-directed learning opportunity considering that we have lots of massive online learning modules and courses that are even free. So fellow educators, let us just make sure that as we all perform our tasks, we do this with love. We always consider the welfare of our subordinates, of our teammates. I would just, of course, I've not monitored any, any form of coercion uh, in your area, but there are areas in the Philippines where teachers seem to be overwhelmed with the ever-changing and multiple overwhelming things that their principals are telling them to do. Again, I think the key is for everybody to feel that they are respected, that they are loved, that we are concerned about their welfare. Even as we are all super eager and enthusiastic to really prepare best, as already acknowledged by your ARD, we will not go for perfection. We will go for excellence, which is an effort, constant effort for improving the things on the things that we do over and over again. 
excellence is the habit of and the mindset of never settling for mediocrity. Excellence is an effort, constant effort, consistent effort in improving upon our previous uh, performances. If we are able to do that, we can claim that we are disciples of the culture of excellence. So I'm not going to hold you very long because I know there are better inputs that you will gain from our resource persons. So again, congratulations and all the best for us. Feel free to let us know if you need some kind of support. I also always say that our teammates in my own 35 years of experience serving the Department of Education, people in my team, my own subordinates, immediate subordinates, give services beyond what is expected when they are given leeway, when they are given certain power to decide on how they will do things. What should be important is to clarify the results that we expect from them. It's not really a good idea to micromanage. The other thing that I wanted to share is, I think I already suggested it this earlier, people demonstrate a more passionate service when they are not coerced. When we appeal to the sense of volunteerism, just like many of our fellow teachers in your area who went out of their way so that they could attend you know, the webinars that we have organized for them. Those are things that we do when the leaders appeal for that sense of responsibility and accountability and volunteerism instead of imposing, instead of saying you do this or else. And I know that's not happening in your area, but I'm just reminding all of us that on the basis of, as I've said, my own personal and professional experience, I've been able to get a lot more from my teammates using the principles of appreciative inquiry, looking for things to appreciate instead of watching out for things to criticize. Thank you very much. Mabuhay po tayo. God bless. Morning, Yusuf Dad. Good morning, Yusuf Dad. We are too happy to be here in this first day of the final. Yeah, uh, regional training of owners for the a learning management system of Davao region. You can yeah. you can have this you can have this shown in your other training activities. So I want yeah. <laughs> I want <laughs> you understand the yeah. demand for sir, my time. Sir, thank you. Be assured, be assured that there is no coercion. Our uh, way of doing things is simple empowerment, and yeah. everybody is, uh, is always given the chance to show uh, their talent. As I already mentioned, I said I have not yes, monitored yes. any feedback from Region 11. Yeah. Uh, we respect each other. Uh, position is secondary to us because we treat everyone as leaders themselves. Just like what our uh, teachers of Double the Oro who experienced uh, difficulty in obtaining internet signal, they on their own volition really uh, did means to to join that webinar sir so that's why i always say yes sir I bye 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 yeah for the bye bye congratulations bye bye say your piece to thank our yes thank you i nag na umalis na siya pero i would like to thank uh, you sick dad for uh spending time with us i know you are very busy uh but if you can still hear us uh, we would like uh, Sana to request that the modules will be downloaded to us uh, earlier so that the divisions can address okay, the issues on the development and the production of materials. Thank you again, yeah. Yusek Dad. Uh, we already, the regional directors have uh, always emphasized that the early downloading of 
uh, uploading of the uh, SLMs and early downloading of funds if there are from the yes. central office downloading the funds to that is the OS we want uh, sir hello sir uh, we will yeah. the, I've, been, I've instructed BLR to immediately uh, make available all uh, SLMs that have been considered ready to print. Uh, so we would not wait for the whole thing to be completed. We will immediately yeah. make this available. And then funds will certainly be downloaded very soon. Uh, you so second is uh, working. Oh, our Thank you, Yusek. Yusek. One more original director of 4A and other regions. Yeah. Uh, now, our very uh, proactive undersecretary for the curriculum and instruction strand, very difficult uh, uh, task for them. But yes. uh, Yusik Katz had been, has been doing uh, his job with flying colors. Salud po sa inyo, sir. Thank you. Uh, Holy Spirit uh, guides. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, you. Right. thank you so much, you Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless po. Oh, you are our icon of leadership, sir. Maraming salamat, especially to the regional directors, uh, AID. Siya thank po, you. Uh, role model. Yes. Yes. From uh, Ashford was also uh, joined the central office management. Yes, yes, so, RD. Okay, yes, RD. So, thank you. So, Alice. So, June, diretso na ako sa aking uh, task. Hello. Hello, madam. Good morning. Yes. Just once again, uh, we would like to thank our Undersecretary for Curriculum and Instruction. Ano po, ma'am? We are very lucky to have him in this virtual podium. Although napaka-busy po ni sir, but then... Uh, he was able to make it and nakasama po natin siya sa unang araw pa lang ng ating pagsasanay sa ating LMS. Ayan po, sa mga participants namin, we are really very lucky to have a key official from our central office. At abangan niyo po, marami pa tayong makakasama sa mga susunod na araw. Sa punto pong ito, ang ating regional director, Dr. Evelyn Arfit Alvero, ay magbibigay po ng kanyang inspirational message para po sa ating lahat. Go ahead, madam. Okay, maraming salamat, June. Maraming salamat again to our beloved uh, Undersecretary for the CI Strand, Honorable Undersecretary Gisdado San Antonio. Our um, Schools Division Superintendent, of course, our Assistant Regional Director, the Chiefs of the uh, eight functional divisions of uh, DepEd uh, Region 11, our CID Chiefs, our Education program supervisors, our public schools district supervisors, our uh, trainers, the members of the secretariat, the members of the different training teams, our teachers, most of all, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As emphasized by the director um, before, now the undersecretary for CI, we are now stepping forward to reach our goal. We have been very busy lately, perhaps since today will be the busiest days of our lives in the Department of Education. And it seems like everything changes so fast. Yes, we have to admit that we were not really used to blended learning and all other modalities other than the face-to-face. We are not used to delivering our lessons through online or printed and digital modules or through radio and uh, television-based instruction. It is true that we use modules and sometimes RBI for the alternative learning uh, system only or our ALS. But this is not common among our teachers teaching in a regular classroom. But for this school year, we have to shift to other means to continue education amid this pandemic. Yes, as also stressed by Yusek Dads, this is a big challenge for all of us. I know that all teachers will be adjusting hard and even we leaders, as they are the frontliners, our teachers are the frontliners for our learner, learners' education. Like you, who are also new in these new normal learning modalities, let us help one another. Let us help one another. We should not find a fault 
instead of finding faults, instead of highlighting uh, mga inadequacies, why not uh, suggest and do uh, things that would further our preparations? Huwag na tayong mag-pinpoint pa ng fingers kung sino ang, ang nagulang. Dapat lahat ay tulong-tulong. Kahit anong level, kailangan po tayo. Lalo na sa uh, key uh, decision makers in the region, in the divisions. There are 11 schools divisions. Dapat tulong-tulong tayo. Everyone is needed. I know we do not have equal abilities. Uh, some of you are better than us, better than others, but that's not the point. This time, today, and all the rest of the days is not uh, uh, our time to, to really tell people that we are this good, we are this excellent. But it is about DepEd showing the public that we are and we will be succeeding in the new normal. The whole public is putting all their eyes to us. So kailangan tulong-tulong tayo. Kung may nagkulang, puna natin ang pagkukulang. Huwag tayong maggawa ng mga bagay na makapag-divide sa isa't isa. Let us unite each other. Do not do a thing to divide Dabao Region, please. So, uh, like you who are also new to the new normal, let us help one another. This is always our call. As we become, as you, the trainers, will become trainers and mentors of the teachers within your division or cluster, please bear in mind that we are like infants exploring our first moves. We do it one step at a time, too. Although time is literally as precious as gold right now, as we are counting the days before the opening of classes on August 24, we have to be certain that we are not just ready, but we are already looking forward for it. Although we have been preparing all of this for the last two to three months, the actual delivery is not seen yet. Whether we succeed or fail, it is our efforts of sustaining education that matters most. I know we will not fail. Our being educators is in our hearts. Our being leaders is in us. But we cannot leave it there. We need to be equipped with the call of the times. So what is the call of the times now? It is to be ready in all kinds of means and strategies. And with technology as the main source of information and communication, because of its speed, accuracy, efficiency, agility, storage, sharing, mobility, remote connectivity, and all, we need really to be equipped. You have heard about the learning management system or the LMS. Some teachers have undergone training on this, but one training is not enough. Even series of tra trainings will not really suffice. What we need is the real experience to use the LMS. Uh, Undersecretary Alain Del Pasqua, in fact, said that from March to June, DepEd's ICT service has already trained almost 350,000 teachers and about 10,000 of these were from private schools. In our uh, region, Mark C has already um, trained more or less 45,000 teachers. So we need upskilling of our teachers. Many teachers have attended the Proficiency uh, Open Education Resource or the Open Educational Resources Program, which covered ebook development that teachers can use to prepare localized materials or the basic OER program, which focused on author authoring tools and interactive quizzes that can be used even with no internet or advanced OER program, which covered model, for example. Technology in education enables children to adjust to their own, to their own pace of learning. 
but this is not just true for children. This is also true for our teachers. By helping them to be comfortable with the learning management system, we are making this new journey easier for them, easier for us. I know it won't be really that easy, but we need to believe that it will be easy, that everything is under control. I am asking all of you to be as equipped as everyone else. This is our role. This is our mandate. This is our responsibility. This is who we are in the Department of Education. We do not leave anything to chances. We need to prepare, and what we are doing right now is truly preparing ourselves. So all of us, let us this, let us, uh, let this training open our minds and our hearts to what DepEd is aiming for, to continue quality education. We have to align all our efforts to Sulong Idokalidad. So, dear friends, this is the start of the five-day uh, LMS training. Enjoy the training and allow yourselves, yourselves to learn more. But before that, uh, I hope that everybody is on board. We do not like uh, to leave one behind. I hope all our uh, key decision makers in the 11 SDOs are attending. And if we can make it, we will attend every day. Every day, we have guests from central office uh, in the likes of Yusik Alain Pasqua, Asik Berg, Asik G. It's Ambat, Director Joyce Andaya, Director Laila Aryula, and uh, baka meron pa akong nakalimutan. And uh, we see to it that we are also attending so because we cannot give our technical assistance if we do not have <coughs> knowledge about what our teachers and our supervisors have been uh, <coughs> trained to in this five-day LMS. I'd like to commend the efforts of the CLMD under Dr. Uh, Janet Veloso. I know you've been uh, extending a sleepless night since the start of your engagement in the uh, preparation of our uh, SLMs, and not only in the region, but also in the schools division offices and even in the schools where our master teachers were being tapped or have been tapped to accomplish the task of uh, writing, making SLMs. And then if we already have these SLMs, we are into conversion to e-books, to radio and TV scripts, and also many more in this LMS. Ito yung LMS na uh, we want, yung sinabi ni uh, Isties Padul noon na kailangan ang mga guro ay para bang maghukad na lang sila. Ihukad na lang nila because everything has been cooked for them. Uh, hukaro na lang sa mga guro and then they will execute the lessons, be it in different modalities. Kaya meron tayong learning management system. So thank you, CLMD. Thank you, CID. Thank you to our school's division superintendents who are always extending their uh, technical assistance and even their uh, understanding if there are things which do not fall under their expectation. Lahat naman po sa atin ngayon ay puro bago. Kaya huwag po tayong mag-expect of something so that we will not be disappointed. Ang ibig ko pong sabihin, uh, bigyan natin ng uh, 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 best efforts lahat without uh, putting some expectations on others. We should expect from ourselves. Look at yourselves. Ano kayo? Yung best ba natin ay naibigay natin. Huwag kayong titingin sa iba. Look at yourselves. Yung kaya ninyo because uh, I know many of us have those inherent talents. Ibigay mo na yan ngayon. Today and all the rest of the days are our shining moments. Dito mo ibuhos ang inyong best uh, exemplary leadership. 
please be a facilitator, not a hindrance to uh, what we are doing, please. Uh, I want to give my wholehearted appreciation and uh, 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 expecting only, uh, expecting you to be uh, understanding and to be cooperative at all times. Dabao region is known for being facilitating, for being uh, excellent, we claim that and for being innovative. So let's stick to that. Let us stick to that and let us cooperate with each other. Walang coercion po. Walang coercion, kundi good collaboration lamang po. So maraming salamat again. We always thank the Lord for all the learning opportunities afforded us. With Him, Nothing or nobody can hinder our lofty goals, and that is to deliver the best quality of education amid this pandemic and under this new normal. To so God will always be the glory. Once again, Madam, thank you so much po sa iyong panahon at oras at sa napakaganda po ninyong mensahe para po sa ating mga participants sa umagang ito. Indeed, by being together, we can always make a difference. Ayan po. So, Ma'am, thank you so much. At pamaya po, baka makakasama namin kayo. Standby lang po muna tayo. Thank you so much, Ma'am Ardy. Yes. Yeah, I don't have any anon for now, today. I will be listening for the whole day. Wow, thank you so much. I am just at the, at the, ano, back. Yes po. Ayan na, mga participants po namin sa umagang ito. Live na live po ang ating butihing direktor mula sa Surigao, Papuyan. Ayan. Dahil po sa makabagong teknolohiya, ika nga, although we are physically isolated, but yet we are virtually connected. So once again, Ma'am Ardy, thank you so much to our ARD and of course sa ating uh, panauhin kanina ang ating undersecretary for curriculum and instruction na walang iba kundi si uh, honorable Justado M San Antonio okay po so maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga key officials sa DepEd po na nakasama natin sa umagang ito sa punto pong ito ay ipapalabas po namin muli ang links para po sa ating attendance at saka po sa inyong pretest ayan po Ayan po ang attendance link natin, bit.ly slash 31M8SRN. Ayan po. Paalala lamang po, hanggang alas 10 lamang po ng umaga ang pagtatala ng inyong mga attendance. Kasunod po yan ang ating link para po sa inyong pretest. Ayan po. Yan din po ang link ng ating pretest. Hanggang alas 12 ng tanghali lamang din po, ma-access ang link na yan. Maaari niyo po itong i-post sa inyong mga GCs na ginawa po sa bawat sangay, na ginawa po at pinangunahan ng inyong uh, Curriculum and Implementation Division Chiefs mula sa iba't ibang uh, sangay sa buong Region 11. Ayan po. So far po, ang nakapag-attendance pa lamang, nakapag-register pa lamang sa atin ay uh, 951. Marami po tayo. So please po, habol kayo upang maitala po ang inyong mga tugon at ang nakatake na ng pretest ay 425 pa lamang po sa pagkakataong ito. Okay? Sa punto pong ito, makakasama natin ang chief muli ng ating Curriculum and Learning Management Division, si Dr. Janet Gibiloso, para po sa Rationale and Training Matrix sa five days na Regional Training of Trainers on Learning Management System. Good morning, madam! Yes, good morning. Yes, good morning, everyone. Opo, yes. Sige po, ma'am. Okay. Yes. Okay, uh, good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to uh, present to you our uh, national of why we are all here for the uh, RTOT, particularly on learning management system. So as we all know, maybe you have heard a lot so much about uh, uh, learning management system and all the details. But this one is something very uh, tailored fit for the region because this is 
one component that we uh, make it hybrid, meaning we do not want only the teachers will use it, but this is going to be a repository of all the materials that we uh, believe to be of help to both our teachers and also to our learners. So at this juncture, I'd like to present to you the training flow, or shall we say, our uh, learning management system, RTOT uh, training. So for now, our uh, learning management system, we have, uh, as you all know, captured this as a platform where all our modalities can be uh, featured and also be uh, given or be provided with the materials. So in our learning management system, if, if this can be used both offline and online, and that once this will be devolved to the school, everything that you want, particularly for the modular or online virtual classroom, or for offline activities, or for the files, or shall we say, uh, materials, particularly for school on air through radio-based instruction or through radio transmissions are captured in this particular system. Next to that is that our training aims to capacitate all of you, our identified trainers today, to conduct the subsequent training in your respective SDOs and schools, particularly on providing teachers with concrete understanding on the most essential learning competencies or our MELT. And not only that, we are also aiming that this training will be of help to everyone to use the learning management system in the delivery of the learning standards and competencies. And in the end, raising the belief to each of our key players in the field to continually strive to perform better and even best in the new normal. And that the training packages that you will have that will be featuring the different modalities and also the common topics from the DepEd Central Office and also the prototype schedules that we will have is that all of this are key um, things that you will gain from this training and that the psychosocial activities towards the fifth day of our training and the training packages for parents are also best takeaways that you will have so that you will be empowered as to how you're gonna do about the training of our parents and as to the execution of all learning modalities. Now, the learning management system as we all know, if we look at our matrix, for day one, you will be given time to get to know about the learning management system. And then we are going to have the common topics that is coming from the Ed Central Office that will be handled and managed by our Human Resource Development Division personnel. Tomorrow, you are going to have the walkthrough of uh, the most essential learning competencies in which you are going to have the unpacking of the competencies based on the milks. And also, towards the third day, 
we are going to have the simulation of the lesson exemplars that are based from the milks. After the simulation, because that will be using the virtual classroom, and in reality, if it is a face-to-face -face training, there will be return simulation. So we will be choosing from each group coming from elementary, junior high school, and senior high school to be the one who will demonstrate or simulate using our learning management system. And then in the afternoon on the fourth day, we are going to have the planning of schedules or shall we say presentation of the prototype schedules that will be beneficial to all our learners from its key stage. So you'll have prototype for kindergarten, for grades one and two, for grades three up to six, for our learners from junior high school, and also for the senior high school. Now on the fifth day, these are matters that will be handled by the Education Support Services Division. And this is vital for all of us because you are going to have time to engage on the psychosocial uh, mental wellness or mental health and psychosocial services and how we are going to do the remote psychological first aid. And of course, we are going to have best uh, participants who will be able to engage with our resource speaker. Because on that day, we are going to choose the lucky six, those who will join, or probably lucky five. We have two for elementary, two for junior high school, and two and one for senior high school that will interact with a resource person or sinning galing. And so it is a, a somewhat a, a, a very uh, interactive activity. And so we are, uh, we will be chosen from among the participants who are top notchers in registering early or in complying with all the outputs. So with that, we are um, looking at those who are uh, very, uh, shall we say, engaging in terms of our activities from day one up to day five. And finally, in our closing program, we are going to have our uh, ICTS uh, in charge and also our uh, the assistant executive assistant for to the Undersecretary for Administration from the Office of uh, Undersecretary Elaine Del B. Pasqua, Mr. Anthony C. C., who will share to us more about the learning management system. And after that would be our closing program and announcement of what we are going to have in the future as our training activity for the regional office. So I, I believe I have said my piece. Good luck and God bless everyone. Have a fruitful RTOT. Thank you so much, Ma'am Janet. Ayan po. So, Lahat na po na i-present na natin no, anong mangyayari sa mula sa day one natin, sa araw na ito, hanggang sa huling araw po sa biyernes, ay naipakita na rin po namin sa inyo. At asahan nyo po, tulad nga po ng nasabi namin kanina, meron din po tayong mga bisita pa at panauhin na, na mula po sa ating DepEd Central Office na makakasama po natin 
sa bawat araw po ng ating LMS na magbibigay din po sila ng inspirasyon para po ang ating uh, programang ito ay maitaguyod po nating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. So Ma'am Jan, thank you so much po muli sa iyong panahon at mamaya po makakasama po namin kayo muli para po sa ating uh, forum. Thank you so much Ma'am Jan and good morning po sa inyo. Sa punto pong ito ay makakasama naman po natin ang ating hepe ng ating Quality, quality Assurance Division, si Sir Genelito S. Atilio, para po ipaalam sa atin ang ating mga Katami Links. Sir, good morning po. Yeah, good Present morning, good sir. Good morning to all. Jun, may buntag. Yeah, may buntag, uh, RD, ARD, sa tanan na mga superintendents, assistant superintendents, uh, all the chiefs of uh, the functional divisions of the region, the CID chiefs, and all the teachers and the officials are around. This three, this uh, one week no, seminar will undergo per regulation um, the Kwatami process, the quality assurance, technical assistance, monitoring, and evaluation. Um, and then this will be conducted into two ways. Number one is that. Uh, we will be having a daily basis evaluation of Guatame uh, that will transpire after every session. And then secondly is the end of uh, program Guatame evaluation. So there are two things that we request uh, from all participants. Number one, please do not forget to do the evaluation specifically yung part one. Oh, part one is after every session. Let me reiterate that. And then another one is yung part two is the end of program evaluation. All your inputs are very, very valuable for the upcoming uh, trainings that we will conduct and then the, for the development also of this uh, webinar on a day-to-day -day basis. So we would like to request all of you uh, not to forget, no. Uh, we are now be showing to you all the Kwatami links. Uh, Lujin, please. Uh, that's for it, the evaluation link for day one. You will be using that uh, in a while, but uh, it is not yet enabled at, uh, at this very moment, no, because uh, it will only be enabled uh, as we are nearing to close the session. Can we show the other uh, links anyway? Hindi naman sila mag-open yan. That's for day two. Can we have day three? That, okay, that's for day three, day four, day five, and day six is the end of survey program. Ito yung sinasabi ko na very important because you will be uh, evaluating the whole program that we are to have. So again, let me reiterate. Two things only, please do the evaluation, and second, respond with all uh, conviction and honesty. Uh, because your inputs are very, very valuable to the betterment of uh, this program. And uh, pangatlo, please respond also because uh, uh, I do not know if this is going to be a house rule, but uh, your responses will be the basis also of your uh, certificate of appearance and uh, your certificate of participation. That is how we value your uh, responses. I think that's all. And uh, I would like to congratulate CLMD and uh, partner, uh, of partner uh, uh, offices of the region and the school's division office uh, for coming up with this uh, very wonderful uh, endeavor for our children. Thank you so much, Sir Dodong. Salamat po sa iyong panahon na ipinagkaloob po sa amin. At saka po, paalala sa aming mga participants, yung atin pong mga um, katami links po ay mahalaga nga po tulad ng nasabi ni Sir Dong para din po mapag-iba yun namin kung meron pa namin dapat ayusin sa mga programa na pinapalabas po natin, lalong-lalo na sa new normal na ito. So thank you so much once again, uh, Chief Atilio. Thank you so much, sir, for your time and for being with us. In this. Thank you, sir, and good morning. At this point po, makakasama naman natin ang Education Program Supervisor ng Mathematics, 
at siya rin pong namubuno sa ating training na ito. At tatawagin ko po on screen si Dr. Renato N. Pakpakin para naman po sa ating mga house rules. Sir Rene, good morning. Hi, John. Good morning, John. Good morning, everyone. Ayan. Good morning po, Sir Rene. Okay po? Okay. Okay, sir. Sige po, sir. Uh, uh, be... Okay, so I'll be presenting the webinar rules of engagement because we all know that nothing more annoying than attending an online presentation or meeting and not being able to get anything out of it because the presenter or fellow attendees are unprepared or unfamiliar with how to behave in a formal online environment. Good webinar etiquette, like, like good online etiquette in general, uh, keeps doors open to better communication, greater mutual respect, and efficiency. So let us uh, be aware and agree with the following rules of engagement. First, you have to show up on time. Um, for this five-day training, uh, you will be given links for morning attendance and also afternoon attendance. So you have to uh, comply. You have to respond to that attendance because that ha it has a limit. So it, it will be open in the morning for uh, from 7 to 9 and in the afternoon from 1 to 2. Okay. So also turn off your webcam and mic if you are not, uh, if, 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 if it is not your time. So wait for your turn. Uh, don't uh, self-promote unless asked to. Respect others and their opinion. Uh, pick the right tone. Uh, think before you hit the send button. So brevity is best. Stick to the point. Actively join in all sessions. Throughout the duration of this webinar, please keep your audio on mute when it is not your turn to speak. So questions will be entertained after all the speakers have presented. Use the chat box or, or the Padlet for your question. So you will be provided with a link for the Padlet for you to uh, input your comments, suggestions, and clarifications every after the session. So it will be read after all speakers have presented. So when speaking, mind your time in consideration to others. So presentation materials and certificates Certificate of attendance and participation will be provided to those who will answer the required pre-test and post-test, activity outputs, daily evaluation, and the daily attendance. So that's all. So, John? John? Thank you so much, okay, Rene. That's all, John. Or the yes, po. thank you so much po sa iyong mga paalala para sa ating mga participants po. Thank you so much sir for your time and of course, later makakasama din po natin ulit si Sir Rene para po sa ating forum na siya din pong magpa-facilitate mamaya. Thank you so much Sir Rene and mag-ingat po kayo dyan. Okay po? So sa punto pong ito, magpapatuloy na po tayo sa ating mga pagsasanay. Lalong-lalo na po ay uh, kailangan po nating ma-master ang paggamit ng ating uh, learning management system. At ibibigay po yan sa atin ng ating mga uh, LMS developer. Uh, sisimulan po yan ng ating CMT1 na siya ding magiging tagapagsanay natin sa umagang ito. Na walang iba kundi si Sir Joshua Wong. Sir Josh, good morning! Good morning, Sir Jun! Yan, so Sir Josh... Ngayong umaga po muli ay uh, makakasama namin kayo tapos sa pagsasanay sa mas marami pang audience natin sa webinar na ito. Ayan po. So, Sir Josh, please do the honor na po. Thank you, Sir June. Good morning po sa lahat ng ating mga participants. Allow me to share my screen. Nakikita na po ba ang aking screen? Okay. So for now, we will discuss the overview of Moodle. So ano ba tong Moodle? Moodle is a modular object-oriented dynamic learning environment. It is a free online learning management system enabling educators to create their own private website filled with dynamic courses that extend learning anytime, anywhere. 
So whether you're a teacher, student, or administrator, Moodle can meet your needs. Moodle's extremely customizable core comes with many standard features. So titingnan natin ang features ni Moodle. General features. Moodle is modern and has an easy to use interface. Designed to be responsive and accessible, the Moodle interface is easy to navigate on both desktop and mobile devices. Isa sa mga features ng Moodle is as long as your device can open the website, automatic nag adjust si Moodle sa display ng iyong current device. So whether you're using laptop, desktop, a tablet, or even mobile phone. So as we can see in the presentation, automatic ko nag adjust si Moodle. Punta tayo sa next feature. Collaborative tools and activities. Work and learn together in forums, wikis, glossaries, database activities, and much more. So isa sa mga features ni Moodle ay itong collaborative tools and activities. So meaning, um, si student at ang ating teachers, uh, para silang in the traditional way, parang face-to-face, -face, pero dito, a virtual silang magko-collaborate no? sa courses na ginagawa ng ating mga course creators. The next one, Moodle has an all-in-one calendar. Moodle's calendar tool helps you keep track of your academic or company calendar, course deadlines, group meetings, and other personal events. So itong calendar ni Moodle, this is very important no? na makita ng ating mga students at teachers. Uh, this will remind them na there are upcoming activities ahead in time. So laking tulong nitong calendar para hindi natin ma-miss out kung ano man yung mga event na darating. And we will be prepared ahead of time. Next feature. Moodle has a convenient file management. Drag and drop files from cloud storage services, including MS OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. So this is one of the most useful uh, feature ni model. No, we can just uh, drag and drop, drop um, learning materials. No, kung mayroon tayong nakasave sa ating mga uh, cloud storage, uh, the very popular cloud storages tong OneDrive, Dropbox, tsaka Google Drive. So as long as we have the database for this learning resource materials, uh, drag and drop lang po ang uploading. So very convenient, uh, no hassle sa ating mga course creators. Next is Moodle has a simple and intuitive text editor. So format text and conveniently add media and images with an editor that works across all web browser and devices. So si Moodle is very adaptive po sa lahat ng uh, web browser and device natin. Kasi it, ito ay isang uh, open source. So isang mahalagang feature ito na uh, we, we can easily share the media and images that are used for the learning resource of our students and teachers. Another feature is the notifications. So when enabled, users can receive automatic alerts on new assignments and deadlines, forum posts, and also send private messages to one another. So another features like the um, Moodle calendar is the notification. No? Mag-re-remind po sa ating uh, students, kung mayroong upcoming activities like assignments or um, uh, quizzes ahead in time, so they can study in advance. And then, sa ating teachers, kung meron silang mga uh, nakaligtaang gaduhan ng mga student, so Moodle will notify them that, oi, ang go po ng mga student ito, hindi mo pa nabigyan ng grade for the assignment. Tsaka yung notification na you have a an upcoming activity for your students this coming Friday. Paang ganun po. 
So, another feature na hindi malilimutan at makakaligtaan ng ating student at teachers sa mga upcoming events or the needed things na dapat nilang gawin. Another feature is the track progress. Educators and learners can track progress and completion with an array of options for tracking individual activities or resources and at course level. So, isa ito sa mga magandang features ng ating learning management system. Moodle provides a very wide array of tracking our individual activities. So, kung si student is enrolled in a course subject, Kung ano yung mga ginawa na niya sa course subject, example, he has taken already the lessons, the quizzes and assignments, or other activities, uh, automatic ma-review ni teacher yun, no? one by one. So, no need na maghalongkat si teacher sa kanyang record files, gaya ng ginagawa dati. Automatic, just a click away, makikita na ni teacher ang, ang mga nagawa ng kanyang mga students and learners. So, punta tayo sa administrative features. This, these are for the course creators or the admin ng ating Moodle system. Moodle has a customizable site design and layout. Easily customize a Moodle team with your logo, color schemes, and much more. Or simply design your own team. So, for those uh, graphic designers, kung uh, mas gusto nila na mas creative ang ating ang look ng ating uh, learning management system they can do so no no um Moodle provides a very customizable um, choices uh, appearance ng ating learning management system so next feature Moodle has a secure authentication and mass enrollment so over 50 authentication and enrollment options to add and enroll users to Moodle site and courses. So, gaya ng mga training previously, uh, we have shown how to enroll students to the course subjects. No? We have shown the manual enrollment, the guest access, and even self-enrollment using a security key. So, this is one of the features that secures the um, course subject of a teacher. Next feature is the bulk course creation and easy backup. So dito sa feature na ito, kung ready na ang ating mga learning materials, um, ano na lang, no? uploading na lang si teacher or si course creator, then backup niya. Once na uploaded na sa site, automatic po. Um, the, we can download in the future for the future use. So we can also use the downloaded data for the offline um, offline mode of Moodle. Para dun sa mga schools na walang internet, so they can just put a local area network and install a an offline version of Moodle. And these learning resource materials can be restored anytime kung meron na silang uh, Moodle server. Next feature. Manage user rules and permission. Address security concerns by defining rules to specify and manage user access. So, it, ito isa sa mga uh, needed feature no, ng ating mga administrators dito sa learning management system. Uh, this, ito yung musaan kinokontrol ng admin ang mga user access ng kung sino mang uh, nag-enroll or nag-register sa ating learning management system. So this is, these roles and permissions can be easily accessed by our administrators. So punta na tayo sa course development and management features. Moodle has direct learning paths. Design and manage courses to meet various requirements. Classes can be instructor-led, self-paced, blended, or entirely online. So very um, flexible ang ating learning management system dahil sa feature ni Moodle. No? Uh, we can uh, perform a live um, classes. Pwede din halo-halo, uh, blended learning. 
or pwede rin na entirely online tsaka mayroon pa pong offline version nito kung hindi available ang internet. Next feature, encourage collaboration. Moodle has a built-in collaborative publishing features. Foster engagement and encourage content-driven collaboration. So, sa isang course subject, hindi lang iisang teacher ang pwedeng mag-upload ng mga learning resource. Pwede a set of teachers with the same subject, the same grade being teach or being taught. No? Uh, they can collaborate. Uh, they can assign who will uh, upload the materials for the lesson one, the lesson two, si teacher two, for the lesson three, si teacher three naman. So meaning hindi lang iisa po ang pwedeng mag-create uh, ng course subject. So pwede po maramihan sila. So they will collaborate and assign tasks according to what they need. Next feature is the multimedia integration. Moodle's built-in media support enables you to easily search for and insert video and audio files in your courses. So this is a very usable feature ni Moodle na hindi lang um, plain text ang makikita nating students, kundi pati video at mga audio files, kaya ng radio programs or radio recorded, audio recorded files na pwede nating i-upload sa system ay maari po dito sa Moodle. We also have group management. So in the normal, traditional way of teaching a class, um, binabay group po na ating teacher, mostly ang ating mga students, when there are activities. Para naman um, mal malaman ni student paano magkaroon ng teamwork or how to work within a team. No? Hindi lang siya siya lang. No? This is to develop their social skills and how to interact with uh, different characters of people. So the next uh, feature is the security and privacy. So teach and share in a private space only you and your class can access. So this is very important. Ayaw uh, natin ma-access ng ibang tao ang course subject. So we have the features called the enrollment key. So Kung sino lang po ang merong enrollment key, siya lang po ang makaka-enroll sa ating course subject. Kaya very safe po ang ating uh, Moodle site, which is we are using for our learning management system. And that will be all for the quick overview of our Moodle. Uh, thank you so much. Can I uh, call now for the, our MC? Thank you so much, Sir Josh. Ayan po, maraming maraming salamat, Sir Josh, for that uh, overview po sa ating LMS. At kasunod po nito ngayon ay ang ating namang uh, isa pang trainer na si Sir Pocholo Hernandez para po sa kanyang presentasyon. Sige po, Sir Cho. Ayan po. Okay, good morning, Sir Cho. Ah, yes, sir. Good morning. Ayan po. Good morning po. So, Sir Cho, go ahead po. Ah, yes, sir. So, uh, ngayon ipapakita ko ang ating uh, learning management system. So, isi-share ko aking screen. So, uh, good morning din pala sa lahat ng ating mga participants. So, Ito na po yung ating uh, learning management system. So ang papakita ko ngayon sa inyo is uh, paano maglagay uh, ng restriction doon sa ating mga activities and yung ating mga enrollment methods dito sa ating uh, learning management system. So for example, uh, may ginawa na akong course, punta ako doon sa all courses. Next, uh, pupunta ako dito sa uh, elementary kasi may ginawa na akong subject po dito in advance. Ito po yung uh, English 101. So, click ko lang yung English 101.
So ito na po yung uh, ginawa kong subject in advance. So kung makikita nyo, meron tayong uh, topic dito. Meron tayong lesson. Under sa lesson, may ginawa kong uh, lesson 1. Under sa activities, uh, may ginawa kong quiz 1. May ginawa rin akong uh, assignment. And audio recorder para gamitin din sa aking assignment. So ipapakita ko ngayon na uh, paano na tayo uh, makakalagay ng restriction dito sa ating uh, subject. Kasi for example, uh, gusto kong mangyari is kailangan muna magbasa ng uh, student or learner nitong English lesson ko before siya makatake ng uh, aking ginawang quiz. So to do that, uh, first, uh, pupunta ako dito sa aking uh, English lesson 1. So para ma-edit ko itong mga settings ng aking uh, resources and activities, kailangan ko muna pindutin ang turn editing on dito sa upper right side ng ating subject. So, click ko lang itong turn editing on. And ito po, uh, makikita nyo, meron na tayong mga edit buttons and uh, add an activity buttons. So, ngayon, uh, uh, i-edit ko tong English lesson 1 para uh, mabigyan ko siya ng activity completion. So, click ko lang edit, then edit settings. So, kailangan natin i-set uh, up yung activity completion para once uh, nabasa na ni student ang ating uh, lesson, mapaprompt si system na tapos na magbasa si student. So to do that, uh, under the uh, learning uh, material or file edit, punta tayo sa activity completion. So click na natin tong plus na button sa may uh, right side. Then dito sa completion tracking, ang by default is nakalagay Show, uh, activity, show activity as complete when conditions are met. So ito po yung uh, gagamitin natin. Meron din ibang option na si student yung uh, manually mark the activity as completed. So may button lang doon na i-check niya para it means po na click na nabasa na nyo yung subject. Pero yung gagamitin natin is itong show activity as complete when conditions are met para kailangan talaga niya i-open yung file and si system na mag-set uh, si kung nabasa na ba niya or hindi pa. So, click natin itong uh, show activity as complete when conditions are met. So, dito po sa required view, ibig sabihin po niya, uh, kailangan mo nang ma-view ni student or ma-download yung ating lesson para ma-mark as complete yung uh, lesson natin. Then, check lang natin to. Ibig sabihin, student must view this activity to complete it. So, uh, uh, sa lahat ng gagawin natin dito sa ating uh, learning management system, Every time may edit po tayo, wag po nating uh, kalimutan ang uh, i-save itong ating mga edit. So, punta lang tayo dito sa baba, click natin ang save and return to course. So, ayan, na-set na po natin yung uh, activity completion. So, pag i-click ni student itong English lesson 1, automatic uh, mag-open yung lesson and after niya ma-open, uh, mark as completed na itong uh, English lesson. Uh, Macha-check na po ito sa kanyang uh, view ng student. So ngayon naman, i-restrict ko si quiz ko na hindi siya pwedeng matake ni student kung hindi pa nabasa yung English lesson 1. So to do that, uh, edit ko rin itong aking quiz. Click ko edit. Then edit settings. Then punta tayo dito sa baba sa restrict access. So, click natin itong restrict access. Then, mag a tayo ng restriction. So, click natin add restriction. Then, activity completion yung gagamitin natin para uh, yung pagbasbasihan niya is yung activity completion ng ating lesson. So, dito sa activity completion, uh, hanapin natin yung ating ginawang lesson. So, click natin itong choose. Then, piliin natin yung ating lesson, itong English lesson 1. Then, dito sa right side, may options tayo. Must be marked complete, must not be marked complete, and must be complete with pass grade or fail grade. So, yung gagamitin natin is must be marked complete lang since wala naman itong grade ang ating uh, lesson. So, click lang natin, must be marked complete. So, automatic, masisave na po yan. Then, uh, to save the atong mga edit, again, save and return to course.
So, wait lang natin siya mag-load. And uh, by the way, aside po din pala sa uh, mga restriction ng activity completion, pwede rin tayo mag-set uh, ng restriction. Uh, for example, uh, may quiz tayo, then before siya makatake ng exam, dapat mapasa mo na yan yung quiz. So, pas possible din po yun sa ating uh, LMS. May uh, option din po tayo na, for example, uh, yung dates yung ating i-restrict. So, ibig sabihin, uh, hindi ma-open yung ating mga quiz and lessons uh, before a certain date. So, isi-set po natin yung certain date. So, very useful po. For example, uh, wala tayo doon sa ating classroom. So, pwede tayo mag-set ng restriction na pwede na lang i-take during sa time na wala po tayo sa classroom. Or sa, ah yes, sa classroom. So, yan, makikita nyo. And, uh, itong English Quiz 1 is naka-restrict na siya. Nakalagay dito, restricted, not available unless the activity English Lesson 1 is marked complete. So, hindi ito ma-take uh, ni student at ng quiz unless mabasa niyo yung ating English Lesson 1. Then, we can do the same dito po sa ating reading assignment. Then, uh, malalaman niyo po pag-restricted kasi uh, dito po sa part medyo blurred na po yung ating text ng English Quiz 1. Uh, so, ngayon naman, papakita ko sa inyo yung mga different methods of enrollment dito sa ating uh, learning management system. So, uh, punta lang ko dito sa baba, under sa users. Yung enrollment methods po natin, by the way, is uh, unique to every subject. So, every time mag-create tayo ng subject, kailangan muna natin iset yung ating enrollment method. So, click na natin under sa users yung enrollment methods. So, ito po yung ating uh, enrollment methods. Ganun po tayong tatlong uh, klase. First is yung manual enrollment. Uh, ibig sabihin nito, si teacher mismo mag enroll sa kanyang mga students dun sa kanyang ginawang subject. So, ang gagawin niya is hahanapin niya yung mga students niya dito sa ating system then i-enroll niya dun sa kanyang subject. So, for example, uh, may 60 students or learners si teacher under sa kanyang subject. So, medyo matrabaho po yun sa uh, part ng teacher kasi it takes time to add all 60 learner or students. So, meron din tayong uh, ibang uh, pra, uh, ibang methods to uh, cater that problem. Ito po yung ating uh, self-enrollment method. So, dito sa self-enrollment method, si student or learner ang mag enroll sa kanyang sarili doon sa uh, ating ginawang subject. Then yung isang uh, type pa or method is yung guest access. Yung guest access po is uh, limited lang yung kanyang magagawa. Uh, pwede siya mag-open ng uh, course pero hindi siya pwedeng makatake ng mga activities. So pwede lang niya ma-download uh, yung mga material pero yung mga activities natin hindi siya pwede mag-take. So by default ang naka-enable lang dito is yung manual enrollment. So uh, ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo paano natin magagamit yung self-enrollment method. So, sa self-enrollment met uh, self method, click lang natin itong uh, mata or eye na icon para may enable po natin ito na method. So, click natin. So, malalaman natin na yung ating method is naka-enable na once hindi na um, blurry yung kanyang text or Naka, or nawala na yung slash dun sa mata na symbol. Tulad po nito, ayan, naka-enable na po siya. And ngayon naman, uh, lalagyan pa natin ng uh, mas deeper restriction yung ating self-enrollment sa student sa pamamagitan ng pag-add uh, uh, ng enrollment key. So to do that, click natin itong gear button sa uh, right side. So, yung ating uh, enrollment key is uh, very useful siya to ensure na ma yung makakapasok lang doon sa ating ginawang subject is yung binigyan lang natin ng mga enrollment key which is yung student talaga natin sa ating 
uh, course or subject. So to set an to set an enrollment key, uh, dito sa baba merong enrollment key. So sa right side niya meron nalagay click to enter text. So for example, click ko to, then magta-type na ako ng uh, aking enrollment key. So click ko lang, for example, uh, English. So kung hindi ako sure sa uh, tinype ko, baka may namali ako ng pindot, pwede kong i-click itong mata na icon dito sa right side para ma-reveal yung aking tinype. Tulad niyan, uh, nakita ko mali pala yung uh, na-type ko. So kung hindi ko yun uh, chinek, mali yung mabibigay ko na code sa or enrollment key sa aking mga students so hindi sila makakapasok. So edit ko lang ito. Ayan, English. So, ito na po yung enrollment key na ibibigay ko sa aking uh, mga learner or student. Then, click ko lang save para masave yung aking changes. So, uh, once masave na, to, na, uh, na ito, pwede na mag-enroll si student using the enrollment key. So, login lang siya sa system. Hanapin niya yung subject ni teacher. Search niya lang. Then, i-enroll niya yung kanyang sarili. So, hindi na uh, medyo Mahirap para sa part ni teacher. Then for example din is uh, naka-enroll na lahat yung ating mga learner or student dun sa ating subject. So pwede na natin i-disable yung self-enrollment method ng ating subject to ensure na wala na, pa, wala na makakapasok na uh, hindi part sa ating klase. So that's it for the uh, restriction and uh, methods in enrollment of enrollment. So ngayon naman, uh, papakita na sa atin ni Sir Noy yung mga features ng ating uh, learning management system. So Sir Noy? Uh, Sir Noy? Uh, good morning, yes, sir. sir. Yes, Sir. Too. Good morning. Yes, Sir. Okay, so, so the floor is yours, Sir. <laughs> okay, Sir. So allow me to share my screen. Ayan, so okay na po ba? Nakikita na po ba yung ating screen? Okay, so katulad ng pinakita kanina ni si Sir Cholo, this is uh, on the teacher side pa din itong ipapakita po sa inyo. So in addition lang po doon sa mga features, yung mga learning activities na, na, na ilagay ni Sir Cholo, meron tayo dito mga sample of our interactive activities na pwede nating ibigay sa ating mga learners. So like for example, uh, dito sa ating course presentation. Yan. Okay, so very common sa atin as a teacher ay gumagamit tayo ng Microsoft PowerPoint para gumawa ng ating mga presentation ng ating lesson. So, dito sa ating LMS, almost the same din. Yung mag pwede tayong gumawa dito ng sarili nating uh, presentation katulad ng nakikita nyo sa screen. So, sa ating, uh, kung nakikita nyo, napapansin nyo, we have uh, 10 slides. So, we are now on the first slide. Okay? Sa so first slide, nakikita ito ng learner natin. So, ito yung kanilang uh, binabasa ngayon. Okay? So, on the next slide, hindi alam ni learner na may nakaabang palang mga questions on the next slide. So, pwede naman itong gawin sa Microsoft PowerPoint. Kaya lang, the good thing about uh, this uh, feature, e automatic kasi yung recording ng score ng ating mga learners. Diba? So unlike to Microsoft PowerPoint, uh, although pwede naman siya for the lesson presentation, but in terms naman si recording ng result or performance ng ating mga learners, eh, hindi siya pwede. Pero dito, like for example, ito yung question. So for example, ito yung sagot. So meron tayong three questions sa slide na ito. Okay, so matapos natong sagutin yung uh, three questions na yun, ayan, nagkakaroon ka agad ng feedback yung ating learner. So, you got three of three correct. So, three questions. Yun ang uh, type of, ano yun, uh, multiple choice type of questions yung nakikita natin kanina sa screen. So, yun sa slide number two. And then, on slide number three, kung kanina ay naglagay tayo ng multiple choice, eh, pwede din tayo magdagdag ng filling the blanks type of questions. So, katulad ng nakikita nyo sa screen. And then, on the fourth slide, ayan, nakikita natin. This is another uh, discussion. Ito yung ngayon yung binabasa ulit ni estudyante. And then, proceed si learner ngayon. 
Ayan. So, pwede tayong mag-attach dito ng video na tayo mismo yung nasa video. So, nakikita tayo ng ating mga learners. So, yun ang maganda dito sa ating uh, presentation like this. Oh. Edibles that actually do well in part shade. They also thrive in containers and can handle just about any type of soil conditions. Currents prefer moist but not soggy soil. And they tolerate sandy and clay soil. If you live in a hot, arid climate, make sure that you give the currants some afternoon shade or you can plant them where there's filtered shade. Currants come in white. Okay, so just imagine na kayo, as a teacher, kayo itong nasa video. So ito ngayon, nakikita ngayon ito ng ating mga learners. So after the video presentation, uh, pwede tayong magbigay ng another uh, type of questions like this. So the instruction is, choose the correct statement. Okay, so halimbawa, ito yung sagot ko. Yan, automatic nagkakaroon ng feedback. So this one, yan, correct. Halimbawa. Yan, so. Meron ka agad siyang uh, progress. Ayan, 2 over 4. So I'll proceed to the next slide. So yan, para pa ulit-ulit lang. So another discussion. And then, on the next slide, kung kanina meron tayong filling the blanks, meron tayong multiple choice, dito naman, eh, pwede tayong maglagay ng ganitong activity inside our presentation. So, drag and drop activity. So, the instruction is, drag the colors to match ripening stages. So, alimbawa, ito yung sagot, idadrag ko lang dito sa box na ito. Ayan. So, after that, click natin itong button, check. Ayan. So, you got three of three blank. Correct. So, alam ka agad ni sudyante na tama pala yung kanyang mga sagot sa activity na ito. So, let's proceed on slide number 9. So, another multiple choice type of questions dito sa ating slide number 9. Check. Okay. So, let's proceed to the last slide. So, sa last slide ngayon, nakikita ng ating learner yung kanyang total, no? total score sa activity na ito. So, isang ano lang siya, single presentation lang. Pero meron siyang uh, different sets of questions na naka-attach. So dito nakikita niya 8 over 13. So kung gusto niyang tingnan yung solutions, pwede din. Kung pwede niyang balikan, so pwede din. O, depende niya sa restriction na inilagay ni teacher. So aside from this uh, presentation, course presentation, na parang ano lang siya, may similarity sa ating uh, PowerPoint presentation, pwede din tayo mag-attach ng uh, video, uh, interactive video sa ating learning management system. Kaya lang, medyo may problema sa ating database. Ayan. Para po, baka po may nag, uh, nakag, uh, nakapag-access sa ating uh, uh, LMS, baka pwede pong pakilag out po muna para po tuloy-tuloy ang ating presentation. So yan po, nagkakaroon po ng uh, technical problem. Um, uh, Sir Cholo Okay Sir Noy Allow me to uh, Ano Sir ha To Bat in po Sir Kasi yeah, okay. pa nagsagot tayo ng uh, uh, Online traffic ano po? Uh, Paalala po sa aming mga participants Na nanonood sa amin po ngayon Huwag po kayong mag-alala Sapagkat po tulad ng mga nakaraang webinar po Na sinalihan ng bawat uh, air learning area Meron pong practice link na ibibigay po. Uh, mayroon na po yung instructional videos. Andoon na rin po yung um, offline version po na maaari nyo pong pag-aralan. Uh, kung paano po papasok, paano magsisimula at kung paano po siya gagamitin yung ating LMS. So sa pagputo po ito, uh, inihiling po namin ang lahat na huwag nyo po munang i-access yung uh, mismong online link po na ginagamit ng ating mga tagapagsanay para po makapag-walkthrough tayo, makapag-go over po tayo sa ating mga features ng LMS at kung uh, saan kayo pupunta. Sapagkat ang uh, video naman po ito na webinar na po na ito ay maaari din ninyong ulitin uh, i-view dahil uploaded na po ito sa ating mga social media accounts. Automatic po ito marirecord sa YouTube at ipopost din po namin ito sa CLMD Facebook page. Ano po? So muli po, hinihiling po namin ang mga participants namin na nanonood na huwag nyo po munang i-access yung online link na ginagamit po ng ating mga tagapagsangin. Maraming maraming salamat po at uh, 
ay papalain tayong lahat ng may kapal. Okay, th- uh, thank you Sir Jun. Now since nagkaroon po ng uh, technical problem po yung website na ginagamit natin ngayon, so may ginawa akong backup. So uh, ipapakita ko na lang sa inyo yung screen. Ito yung continuation ng ating uh, presentation about dito sa features ng ating learning management system. So share ko lang muna ang aking screen. Um, nakikita na po ba? Sir, Sir Cho? Sir, you may now share your screen po. Okay. Ah, sige lang po, sir. It's okay po. Okay. Sige, sir. Check ko lang muna, sir, kung uh, ipasok na ba itong aking screen. Sige po. Just give us a signal po if ever you are ready na po. Okay po. Uh, paalala lamang po muna sa lahat ng aming mga participants. Ano po? Maaari niyo pong makita yung ating ma-practice link sa ating... Uh, Facebook page na ma-access po ninyo yan. Andyan po. So, paki-browse nyo lamang po yung Facebook page ng CLMD. Andyan po yung practice link po ng mga tutorial. Um, kasama po dyan ang mga tutorial videos po na gagamitin po natin sa pagsasanay sa ating uh, LMS. Andyan po nakapost siya. Uh, I think kung hindi ako nagkakamali ay naka-pin on top na po yan siya ako madali ninyong makita. At um, maaari nyo din po tingnan sa ating uh, YouTube channel yung video na rin po na yan. Nandyan na rin po yan, naka-playlist na po siya yung ating uh, tutorial videos on learning management system. Sunod-sunod na po yan at andyan na po lahat ng inyong kakailanganin para po ma-access ninyo at makapagsimula po kayo sa inyong mga pagsasanay. Ano po? Okay? Muli po, binabati lamang namin ang lahat ng mga participants sa iba't ibang uh, division ng Davao Region. Binabati po namin ang lahat ng teacher participants kasama po ang kanilang CID chiefs, ang kanilang mga PSDSS at saka education program supervisors, wala po sa division ng Davao City, Division of Davao de Oro, Division of Davao del Norte, Division of Davao del Sur, Division of Davao Occidental, Division of Davao Oriental, Island Garden City of Samal Division, Digo City Division, Panabo City Division, and Tagum, Tagum City Division, and Mati City Division. Maraming maraming salamat po muli sa inyong uh, panunood sa amin sa webinar na ito. Lalong-lalo na po ito ay mahalagang usapin patungkol po sa ating uh, learning management system na kung saan uh, inihahanda po tayo ng ating rehiyon na para po sa darating na pasukan ngayong Agosto 24. Sir Noy, are you ready na po ba? Yes, Sir Jun. Okay po. Sige, Sir Noy. Okay, so, ito na po yung aking screen. Nakikita na po ba? So, ito lang muna yung ating papakita. In continuation sa uh, interactive activities na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, within the video mismo, ito na yung ating lesson. Ito na yung Okay po, saglit lamang po ano, nagkakaroon po tayo ng uh, aberya sa ating uh, internet connectivity dahil po ang ating uh, chief trainer po at saka developer ng ating LMS ay malayo po siya, nasa Mati po siya, Mati City po siya ngayon. 
Okay po, so magpapatuloy po muna tayo sa ating mga pagpapasalamat sa lahat po ng ating mga nakasama at makakasama pa sa webinar na ito. Muli, isang pagbati at pasasalamat po sa ating Panregyong Director, Dr. Evelyn Arfitalbero at sa ating Assistant Regional Director, Dr. Maria Inesi Asuncion. Kasama po ang lahat ng Chiefs ng eight Functional Divisions na sa mga susunod din pong mga araw ay makakasama din po natin sila sa webinar na ito. Salamat po sa inyo ma mga ma'am and sir. Of course, iisa-isahin ko na lamang po while nag-aantay para po sa ating, uh, of course, sa ating Curriculum and Learning Management Division, uh, si Dr. Janet G. Viloso, para naman po sa ating HR BD, si Dr. Lorna Mapinugos, sa ating naman pong Education Support Services Division, si Dr. Warlito E. Hua, para naman po sa Policy Planning and Research Division, uh, we have Dr. Marilyn B. Madrazo, And of course, para po sa ating Field Technical Assistance Division, Dr. Mary Jean Aldiger. And uh, for Quality Assurance Division, we have Sir Genelito S. Atilio. And for our Administrative Services Division, Dr. Roy T. Enriquez. Of course, pinabati din po namin ang ating uh, uh, head ng ating DepEd uh, Regional Office 11 Legal Unit na si Atilio. Kasama din po dyan ang ating uh, head ng ating ICTU na si Sir uh, Engineer Ricardo Biginto. Good morning po sa inyo. Okay po? So, binabati din po namin ang lahat ng education programs advisors ng Region 11 na sa ma bukas po at sa mga susunod na araw ay makakasama po natin sila ng live. Uh, unahin ko po ang EPS ng Kindergarten at the same time ang ating LRMS Manager si Dr. Analisa C. Almazan. Ang ating... Uh, Regional focal naman for MTB and multi-grade, si Dr. George Wong. Para naman po sa Filipino, we have Dr. Mary Jean M. Mejorada. For English, tsaka po sa iPad at tsaka sa SPJ in English, uh, we have Dr. Manuel P. Vallejo. For Mathematics, we have Dr. Renato N. Pampakin. And of course, para po sa ating Science at tsaka ang ating uh, Regional Sports Officer din po, si Dr. Maria Liza I. Berandoy. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. Binabati din po namin ang Education Program Supervisor in charge po ng Aral Pan at saka Madrasa Education, si Dr. Danilo Ardo Hino. Ang Education Program Supervisor naman po ng ESP and SPFL, si Madam Maria Shello D. Estrada. Of course, ang ating EPS in charge ng ating EPP, TLE, and TVL. We have Dr. Pedelina o huevos. Para naman po sa MAPE, SPS, uh, SPJ, uh, SPA, at saka po sa SPED, ang atin naman pong focal dyan ay si uh, Madam Jocelyn B. De La Cuesta. And of course, ang um, um, EPS po in charge ng ating ALS, at saka siya din po ang ating head sa ating RBI, si Dr. Maricel S. Langgahid. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Okay po. So I think handa na po si Sir Noy. Sir Noy, ready na po ba? Yes, Sir June. Pasensya na po. Medyo nagkakaroon lang po ng uh, technical problem. Kasi nga okay, yung sir. website natin po muna. Oo. So tuloy lang natin. Uh, share ko lang din itong aking screen. Activity na pwede natin ibigay sa ating mga learners. Itong tinatawag nating interactive video. Common din ginagawa din ng mga teachers sa classroom, may nagda-download sila ng mga video and then uh, ipipresent ito sa klase using a PowerPoint ano, projector or uh, TV. Gumagamit sila ng mga TV for the presentation ng kanilang mga lesson. So, yung maganda lang dito sa ating interactive video kasi nasa, na, sa, within the video mismo, andun na yung ating lesson. Andun na yung mga activity na gagawin ni sudyante. And at the same time, mga graded activity yon. So let's watch the video. Ayan. So inside the video ay may mga, well the video is playing, no? may nakikita tayo mga hyperlinks na no? nakalink. So ito yung mga ingredients, for example. So I click close and then automatic mag yung video. Okay, so dito naman Ayan 
parang may ano siya, multiple type of questions then. So what kind of bear is this referring to this picture? Kung gusto ko naman siyang uh, tingnan ng malakihan itong object na ito or picture na ito, pwede ko lang siyang i-click like this. Di ba? So for example, my answer for this is strawberry. So I'll try to uh, click this button. Ayan. Correct. So I'll con uh, click continue. So another instruction is highlight the ingredients that have been added so far. So for example, my answer is this one and this one. So check. So yeah, so you get two of two blanks correct. So I'll click continue. can also attach an activity like this e filling the blanks so within the video uh meron tayong filling the blanks type of questions so pwede din ganun so pwede natin siyang i-attach dito sa video so another type of uh question sa so pwede natin ibigay even though video presentation ito ay pwede tayong maglagay ng drag and drop activity so yan medyo na nagluluding lang ayan so drag the instruction is drag and drop the berries used in this recipe or the picture for example if my answer is this one and uh, this one so I'll click this button ayan so you get one of one points Kasi tama itong naipasok ko. So, I'll click continue. So, here is another type of uh, question. So, pwede dito i-attach natin sa video. So, choose the correct statement. So, halimbawa, ito yung sagot. Like this. Or this one. So, ayan. So, you got uh, 3 of 3 correct. So, 100% correct. So, I'll click continue. And then, the last part of the video, dito natin makikita yung summary ng score based on sa mga sagot niya sa uh, mga questions kanina. So, this is now the summary. So, confirm natin. I'll click submit answer. So, once this button is uh, click, uh, automatically recorded na siya. Ayan. So, your answers have been submitted. So, pumapasok na yun ngayon sa class record ni ng estudyante. Another is pwede tayong uh, magbigay ng uh, game sa ating mga estudyante. Like the sample memory game. Like this. Yeah. So, yan. Uh, nag parang naglalaro lang yung ating mga learners, pero hindi nila alam, itong ginagawa pala nila ay may equivalent points based on yung sa kanilang time. Na consume. Dito naman, you can also add an activity like this. Find the words. Halimbawa, two. And this is three. And this is one. Ayan. So you get three of three points. Another is we can use the uh, speak the words activity. So, speak the words naman. So, parang ano lang siya, parang uh, quiz na kung saan gagamitin ni learner ay eh, hindi siya, hindi ito multiple choice, hindi rin ito fill in the blanks, kundi yung boses niya mismo. Sasagutin niyo itong mga questions, given questions, gamit yung kanyang boses like this. 
So what is the capital city of the Philippines? Uh, halimbawa, yung aking answer is Davao City. Davao City. So ayan. Incorrect answer kasi hindi naman Davao City ang capital city of the Philippines. So I will click retry. Manila. Manila. Ayan. So I got the correct answer. Next question. What is the capital city of China? Beijing. Beijing. Ayan. Correct. So let me run the pen. 3 plus 5, for example, this one, 3 plus 5 is 8. 15 plus 15 is equal to 30. 30. Ayan. Parang di niya naintindihan. 30. Ayan. Correct. 45 minus 5 40. 40. Yeah. So, ito yung mga sample activity natin for speak the words na pwede natin idagdag dito sa ating LMS. Another is uh, an activity like a hotspot. Gamit ang, ating, uh, gamit ang hotspot. It's, uh, for example, parts of the body. You're discussing about the parts of the body or parts of the machine, parts of the plant. So, this is how are we going to present the lesson. Gagamit tayo ng hotspot. For example, this one. Yan o. Oh. Once the students click this part, yan. Pwede tayo mag-attach ng video explaining about this part. So aside from video, dito naman, yan. It's a, a text-based explanation about this part. Example lang po yan. And then dito naman, so, pwede kang mag ng another image as part of uh, ano, explanation sa part na ito. So, pwede ganon. So, another example is like this. For example, if my topic is about uh, parts of the motherboard. So, of course, sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, walang face-to-face -face na klase. So, paano natin ito explain sa mga learners natin? na paano ito maintindihan ng ating mga learners. So, for example, in this part, hindi ko alam kung anong part ito ng motherboard. By just pointing the mouse here, so, ayan, may, uh, naka, may lumabas yung kanyang pangalan ng uh, part na ito. And then, once na-click natin ang link na ito, ang portion na ito, may nakatouch na video explaining about this part. So, katulad ng kanina, yung parts of the body. Diba? Dito naman, ito yung text-based explanation about this part. So, try to imagine, ako ngayon si learner, of course, kasi may mga nakatat sa mga video, ay eh, maintindihan ko kung anong part ito ng motherboard at ano din yung kanyang function kasi andun yung sa video. So, pwede din tayo magbigay ng multiple hotspots. Sa multiple hotspots, ito yun, oh. the instruction is, find all the vegetables in this picture. So, limbawa, I'll click this one, and I'll click this one. So, yan. Great job. You have found two of the vegetables. So, mark the words. Another activity is uh, the mark the words activity. The instruction is click the various types of berries mentioned in the text below. For example, so, I'll click this one as my answer. This one and this one. I'll try to click this button. Once I'm done, check. So, I got 3 of 6. Bakit 3 of, uh, out of 6 lang? So, try to click on the shoe solution. Ayan. Naging 3 of 6 lang kasi ito po yung tatlo. Hindi ko ito na-click kanina. We can also use the image slider in presenting our lesson. The image slider, ano lang siya, para lang, kang, uh, para lang gumagamit ka ng PowerPoint. Ayan, nagluloading pa yung example. So, this is an example of an image slider. If this is an image, so pwede tayong maglagay dito ng caption or an explanation about this image. So, of course, yung gagawin lang nating mga learners, eto lang o. Oh. So, another image, of course, attach yung another 
explanation about this image. So you can use unlimited number of images. No? Now dito sa ating example, three images lang itong ginamit ko. And of course, meron din tayong flashcards. Yan, nagdududing pa. Sa flashcards naman, uh, depende na kung ano yung uh, type, what are the type of activities na applicable sa inyong mga lessons. No? For this, the instruction is, name the following company. So, based on the logo. Dibawa, my answer for this is, ayan. So, I get one correct answer. Because this logo is, ano ito, Macdo. For example, this one, alam na alam ko ito. Yung logo na ito, ito yung logo ng Coke. Try to click, check. Ayan. So, incorrect. Kasi the correct answer is Pepsi. So, dito naman, sa image blender naman, by just looking at the picture, it's just an ordinary picture, isang uh, a type of a flower. No? And then dito sa baba, nakikita natin ang kanyang explanation kung anong image ito. Para ganun lang. Pero once the student slide this slider, katulad nito, ayan, nagbabago yung image. At the same time, the caption dito, yung caption niya mismo dito sa baba, nagbabago din. Proceed tayo. Ayan. So again, you can attach also unlimited images as part ng ating lesson lang. May attach natin. So like this. So parang naglalaro lang yung ating mga learners dito. Like this. Another is, pwede din tayo mag-attach itong tinatawag nating image jukta position. Sa image jukta position naman, kung meron kang topic or meron kang activity that you want your students, you want your learner to compare two objects. So, ito yung best example for that. So, halimbawa, this is the image number one and then the image number two. Or this is our object number one and this is our object number two. So, comparing two objects. So, pwede natin gamitin ang, uh, itong plugins na ito. Image Jukta Position ng H5P plugins. Another example of uh, an activity Yes, itong uh, chart. Pwede tayong gumawa ng chart dito sa ating LMS. Ito yung halimbawa. Yung kailangan lang natin, yung data, and then automatic si system na sa LMS na mismo yung gagawa ng chart para sa iyo. So, pwede kang gumamit ng bar chart o di kaya pie chart. And then, of course, meron din tayong uh, collage. Ayan, nagluluding pa. So, ito yung halimbawa na ating collage. So, one way of presenting our lesson, baka naman gusto niyo ng ganito, uh, mga images lang ipipresent niyo, so pwede, gamit tayo ng collage. Uh, available yan dito sa ating LMS. Another example is the virtual tour. So, syempre ngayon, hindi pwede pa yung, ano, yung mga felt field trip. No? So, as a replacement for that, ay pwede tayong gumamit ng virtual tour uh, katulad ng example na nakikita nyo sa screen ngayon. Ayan o. So, yung maganda dito, ito, halimbawa, click this one. Ayan. So, ito yung kumbaga malakihan portion. So, another may nakalink pa. So, naglo-loading pa yung uh, article or image na naka-attach dito sa another image. Okay. Ito lang yun. Within this image also, eh, pwede tayong mag-attach ng... Ayan, explanation. It's a text-based explanation about the site. Pwede din tayo mag ng video. Like this. Ayan. Dito din, oh, medyo maliit itong uh, portion na ito. 
So pwede natin i-click ito para makita natin ang kumbaga ng malapitan. Ayan. Okay, virtual tour ang tawag natin dyan. Another is meron tayong uh, timeline. Limbawa, yung topic natin ngayon is yung mga history. Ayan, so this is an example of the timeline. So, history of strawberries. So, yung gagawin lang natin, kung bagay itong nakikita natin sa screen, ito na yung summary. So, click the this button. Ayan. So, parang ganito lang yung presentation natin ng ating lesson. Pero dito sa baba, meron pang mga additional details na nakikita yung ating mga learners. So, yan ang ating halimbawa. Next is pwede tayong maglagay ng isang e-book dito sa ating LMS. Sa e-book natin, so lahat na nakikita ninyo kanina na mga learning activities, yung mga interactive activities na pinakita ko sa inyo, lahat yun ay pwede nating ipasok dito sa ating e-book. So dito sa ating e-book ngayon, nakikita natin meron siyang table of contents. Okay? Meron siyang table of contents. As mentioned kanina, pwede tayong mag-attach lahat ng mga interactive activities. And of course, pwede din tayo mag-attach dito ng video. Isang e-book pero meron din siyang uh, video presentation. Diba? So pwede yon dito sa ating LMS. Another is, para sa radio-based uh, program, o di kaya gusto mong mag-present ang lesson gamit ang iyong, uh, gamit ang iyong recorded voice. So pwede yon So i-attachan natin dito as part ng ating learning resources. So, ang mangyayari dito, yung ating mga learners will just uh, listen to your uh, audio presentation. So, parang nakikinig lang sila ng drama. Ang Bureau of Alternative Learning System ng Department of Education ay naghahandog ng isang palatuntunang panradyo na pinamagatang Pantay-pantay nga ba? Ang mga layunin ng episode na ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Matukoy ang mga karapatan ng mga kababaihan. Matalakay ang karaniwang karapatan na nilalabag laban sa mga kababaihan at maisa-isa ang mga ahensya na maaaring lapitan ng mga kababaihan. Okay, so far yun lang ang ating uh, some, uh, common na mga activities dito sa ating learning management system. Yan po, so yun lang po yung mga basic na mga features na pwede natin idagdag doon sa pinakita kayo na ni Sir Chulo sa ating uh, learning management system. So actually marami pa po, kaya lang, yun yung uh, very common. Uh, tapos yun yung mga madali lang gamitin dito sa ating learning management system. Now for the students module, yan ipapakita naman sa atin kung ano naman po yung, siyempre yung pinakita ko sa inyo, access po yun ng teacher or ng course creator. Now for the students module, yan naman po ang ipapakita ng kasama natin dyan sa ICTU na si Ma'am uh, Lujin Masanggit. Ma'am Lodz. Hi, sir. Hello, Ma'am. Good morning. Morning, so, sir. Yes, it's your turn, oh, Ma'am. Thank you. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung aking screen. This is now the view of the student dashboard. On this part, dito makikita ni students lahat ng enrolled subject or courses niya. Let's say na nakapag-enroll na si students dito sa Mathematics Grade 6. So, click ko lang po itong Mathematics Grade 6. This is now the course view of RLMS on the part of the students. 
So, students will now start reading these lessons and take the quizzes and assignment. So, for this example, the student already interacts some of the lessons and activities given by this teacher. So, this checkbox will indicate that this activity marked as complete. Pwede din si student na mag-manually mark the box for their indication that they completed this activity. Depende din po ito sa teacher if they allow the student to manually mark the completed activity or the system will automatically mark as complete when the student viewed or take the activity. So, para malaman ni student ang kanyang overall grade, just click the grades on the navigation sidebar. In here, the navigation, find the grades, and click it. So, there, nakikita na natin yung mga percentage or grades ni student. Uh, this will view the student's percentage grade. So, with this, the student will know what part of the activity na maliit ang kanyang score at pwede niyang i-review ito ulit. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang mobile view ng ating LMS. So, ngayon, i-share ko lang yung screen ko for the mobile view of LMS. Kita niyo na po yung screen. In here, the student can view his or her So, we go back to the mathematics grade 6 subject. You can search the course by clicking the magnifying icon. Then type the name of the enrolled course or subject. And select. Ma'am Luj, I think ulitin natin yung presentation na yan, ano po, kasi nakakaroon po tayo ng lag. Uh, ulitin po natin sa simula yung presentation nyo po. Hi, yes po. Yes po, sir. Wait lang po, ha? Sir, ko rin, ko rin po ulit yung screen ko, sir. Sige, go ahead. Ka-share na po, sir. Yes, ma'am, Lutz. This is now the mobile view of our learning management system. In here, the student can view his or her. 
So, we go back to the mathematics grade 6 subject. Student can search the course by clicking the magnifying icon. Then type the name of the enrolled course or subject. And select it. This is now the view of the course dashboard using the mobile application. We will now try to select the rounding numbers lesson to check if this will open in a mobile phone. Since the file is in a PDF format, the student can view and read the lesson using their mobile phone. Now we will go back to our course dashboard. And to review their case, click the case one. Click the summary of their case. Click the review button. Here is the view of the history of their case. Now let's check if the interactive activities will view in our mobile devices. This is one of the interactive activities uh, prepared by our teacher. Now to check the grades, click the horizontal lines on the bottom right of the screen and select the grades. Student will now know their, the total grades in all the subjects. Let's say for example, the grade, mathematics grade 6. Here's the list of these grades. In all the um, resources and activities given by the teacher. So let's back, go back. So this, you can also download the course and access it in an offline mode. To, to download the course, uh, Click the three dot on the upper right of the screen and click show download options. So you can now download your course by clicking this download icon. So the student will now open the course without using their data. Only the learning resources or materials will be downloaded and viewed it offline, not the other grading resources like quizzes and other interactive activities.
Hello, that's all for my presentation on the side of the student. So, Sir June. Yes, Ma'am Luz, thank you so much. Okay, I think um, those uh, that that you know, that application is for mobile, right? That's for sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, uh, we are going to invite her on screen, Mulis Sir Noy, for any additional information. Yes, Sir Noy. Okay, for um, uh, Sir June. So, kanina nga po, actually, magkaroon din ng uh, technical problem yung site natin. Parang marami yata yung nag-access doon. Okay, so, buti na lang may backup tayo doon na presentation. So, yun. Pero, mamaya, magbibigay si Sir Cholo ng link para doon sa mga resources para ma-install natin offline. Kasi, this afternoon, eh, magkakaroon daw sila ng uh, an activity doon sa paggawa ng kailang mga courses. So, this afternoon daw, uh, daw, sir. Tapos, so, dapat this morning, eh, ma-download na nila yung mga application na yon, ma-install na sa kailang mga laptop para mamayang hapon, i-masunda eh, nila ang activity natin. Okay, sir. Ano po ba yung link na gagamitin nila, sir? Yung sa mga resources, sir. I-flash yun mamaya ni Sir Cholo. Yung uh, material natin for uh, tutorial. Yan? Oh, yung, ayan, yung okay. Off yes, yung offline, sir. Offline. Okay, so, ayan po. So sa lahat ng aming mga participants, ano po, maaari nyo na pong i-access yan na link. Doon po ninyo makikita yung uh, procedure. Lahat po ng instructional videos nandyan ay simula po sa from the, uh, paano mag-open, mag-download ng model hanggang po sa pagpasok ng iba-ibang mga informasyon sa learning management system. Uh, ano nga bang kagandahan nito, Sir Noy? Diba? This is an offline, right? Oo. Uh -huh. Ito ay magagamit. Uh -huh. Sige po. Almost the same lang naman din sa online. So, syempre, kung sila'y magsasanay pa lang doon sa paggamit ng LMS, familiarization ng mga features ng LMS. So, mas maganda yung offline kasi hindi mo na kailangan, hindi mo kailangan connect yung device mo sa internet para mapag-aralan mo yung mga process kung paano siya gamitin. So, kapag ano yun, uh, nagamit mo na sa offline, yung kailangan mo lang doon, kung gusto mo siyang in-network, eh, kailangan mo lang ng uh, isang router. O, para doon, yun, yun po yung magiging gateway ng mga students to access doon sa mga lessons na na post mo doon sa yung uh, LMS. And then exclusive lang yan within sa school kasi nga offline. So pwedeng naka local network lang sila sa school, so pwede lang magamit. Now since uh, ano din uh, sa ating situation ngayon, so pwede tayong gumamit din ng uh, offline. Kapag sanay na silang gumamit doon, kung yung mga process doon na pag-aralan yung mga proseso doon, so pwede lang gamitin yung online version. So in a way, i-announce naman yan for the deployment. Uh, siguro, pero sa ngayon hindi pa muna yung sa ating online wala pa tayong link na ibibigay yun nga, yung sa offline lang muna Okay, so thank you so much Sir Noy Ano po? Sir, samahan nyo muna ako on screen Ano um, okay. ano natin uh, muli po yung ating uh, link na pre-nash, pakiulit nga po yun Ma'am Luj kindly flash it muna yan pong laman yan ng mga tutorial videos po ay for offline. Yung tinata uh, yung yung ibig po sabihin ni Sir Noy na offline po is yung magagamit niyo sa inyong mga local computers na kung saan hindi po kailangan niyo ng data connection kundi yung connection lamang po doon sa router. Kasi po uh, para po sa kaalaman ng lahat, actually ito yung isa sa best practices ng school ni Sir Noy doon sa Sigaboy Vocational Agricultural National High School. Ginagamit na po nila itong LMS na ito way back I think 3 to 5 years ago sir. Ano po? Tama ba ako, two, sir? Two, two, years. two years ago. Ah, okay. Two years ago. Sumobra ako sa bilang. Ano po, pasensya na, sir. <laughs> okay po. So, yun. Uh, magagamit ito sa local computer na local setting lang din. So, ma-access din po yun ng mga estudyante ninyo doon sa uh, kung ano yung uh, router na pwede nilang gamitin doon. So, no need na magkaroon po ng data. Ano po, ng data, uh, yung babayad ka pa or what. Pero yung... Um, accessibility ng ating mga bata ay local pero nagagamit natin functional si LMS. Ano po? So, paalala po muli, pwede nyo na pong i-access yan na link at saka makikita nyo dyan yung uh, sampung videos. Tutorial videos po para sa ating LMS. Ayan po. Okay? So, sa punto pong ito, Sir Noy, I think uh, mar meron pa ba kayong additional information or mula pa sa ating uh, pool of trainers? 
So, sa ngayon po, yun lamang po yung ating pinakita, yung mga features lang po. And then, siguro, uh, this afternoon, and hopefully this morning, ay makapag-install sila ng mga offline version na yun. Yun nga, para masundan yung activity natin this afternoon. So, anyway, lahat po ng mga basic na, lahat po ng mga uh, basic features, yung common na ginagamit ni teacher naman, ay naipakita natin kanina. So, of course, hindi pa yung lalubos na ma, ano yun, maintindihan kapag hindi pa sila nakapag-hands on. Kasi, ano lang po yun, uh, plain presentation lang po. So, okay. this afternoon, abangan po natin this afternoon yung hands on activity. Ayan. So, mamayang hapon po yan, Sir Noy. Ano po? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, thank you so much once again, Sir Noy. Ayan po. So, sa ating mga participants, uh, meron po kayong... Uh, Pagkakataon ngayon na i-access na po yung mga tutorial videos natin at maaari nyo na pong gamitin yon i-browse po ninyo, mag-aralan. In a way, short videos po yon tsaka comprehensive masyado yung pagpapaliwanag doon at uh, I, I, I know na lubos po ninyong mauunawaan yon uh, sa paggamit ng ating LMS. Ano po? In a way, ang ginagawa naman po natin ngayon ay, uh, ay ginagawa natin ang familiarization sa ating LMS dahil po hinahanda po muna yung ating online na uh, version naman ng LMS dahil po yun nga we have to consider also na marami tayong gagamit lalong lalo na po uh, sa buong kaguruan lamang ng Region 11 pa lang so baka makakaroon tayo ng uh, system uh, breakdown kung hindi po natin aayusin yung ating system sa LMS so yun po uh, sanayin niyo po muna ang inyong mga sarili gamit ang ating mga tutorial videos na naka-flash kanina sa, or nakalagay doon sa link na naka-flash kanina sa inyong mga screens. And of course po, huwag na po ninyong uh, kalimutang mag-subscribe sa ating uh, YouTube channel para po ninyo ma, para po kayo ma-update sa kung ano pa man po yung mga ina-upload namin doon, lalong-lalo na lahat po ng mga impormasyon na ia-upload naman po sa ating mga social media accounts are all related in preparation for uh, the opening of classes at the same time po, to capacitate the teachers in uh, having this new normal way of education. Ayan po, so please lamang po pakila, subscribe ninyo yung channel na yan. And of course, do not forget also to like our CLMD page para din po updated din po kayo sa mga announcements at iba pang mga informasyon patungkol po sa uh, delivery ng curriculum and learning management, delivery ng buong Region 11 para po sa ating paghahanda sa panibagong normal na pamamaraan ng ating pagkatuto at uh, pagtuturo sa ating mga kabataan. At uh, pagpaumanhinan lamang po ninyo, ano po, kung nakakaroon po tayo ng uh, uh, system traffic or online traffic, dahil po uh, hindi naman po talaga ganun, ka-stable ang buong Pilipinas sa ating uh, connection, ano po. So, kaya po hinanapan ng paraan na meron tayong offline version para po matuto kayo, magkaroon kayo ng kasanayan sa paggamit, pag-utilize ng ating LMS. Ayan po. While linaantay po natin si Sir Rene Pakpakin kasi po meron tayong uh, link na ibibigay sa inyo para po doon sa tinatawag nating uh, comments or mga reactions or mga katanungan po. Ipa-flash ko na po on screen ngayon ang ating uh, Padlet uh, link. Doon po ninyo uh, ipapasok yung inyong mga katanungan at uh, mamaya po ay unti-unti natin sasagutin yung mga katanungan po ninyo. Ano po, ito po yung link para po sa inyong mga comments and questions po. Okay? So, Ma'am Luj, adyan na po ba on, uh, on deck na po ba si Sir Rene? Ma'am Luj, on deck na po ba si Sir Rene? Ah, okay. So, inaantay pa po natin si Sir Rene. Ano po? Okay. Sige. So, paalala lamang po sa hindi pa nakapag-take ng ating pretest, uh, ito po naman yung link. Ayan po. Hanggang alas 12 lamang po ang pag access ng link na yan. Ayan po. So, paki-access na lamang po ninyo. Ano po? Para uh, lahat po ay makapag-pretest at... Uh, Yung link na rin po yan ay basihan din po ng inyong uh, sertipiko ng katibayan po na kayo dumalo para po sa ating uh, webinar ito. And of course, 
Ang um, ano din po namin, ang um, mamaya yung surveilling po natin sa Katame ay isa din po yun na basis kapag uh, nakapagsumiti po kayo noon para po sa inyo inyong certificate. Ang pamamaraan po ng ating certificate na ipapadala sa inyo ay ikakluster po muna namin na uh, per division kasi po yung link naman po na yan ay merong nakalagay na division at ipapadala po yun sa inyong mga uh, respective schools division offices sa CID po idadaan. Okay po? So yan po ang inyong uh, pretest na ano um, uh, ititake. Okay po? Ibabalik ko lamang po yung ating uh, Padlet uh, site or Padlet link para po sa inyong comments. Ayan po. So bilang pagpapatuloy ay muli magpapasalamat muna tayo sa lahat din po ng ating uh, Curriculum Implementation Division Chiefs na kung saan sila din po yung nangunguna para po sa inyo mga kaguruan kasama ang ating mga PSDSS at saka Education Program Supervisors para po makadalo sa webinar na ito. Sisimulan ko po sa division ng Davao City. Of course, maraming salamat sa lahat po ng elementary, junior high, senior high, teacher participants po na kasama namin ngayon. Kasama po ang inyong uh, public schools district uh, supervisors and division education program supervisors headed po ng inyong CID chief na walang iba kundi si Dr. Alma C. Sifra. Thank you so much po sa inyo at maraming salamat din po Ma'am Alma for guiding po your team. Of course, pasalamatan din po natin ang uh, division ng Davao de Oro headed by their CID chief, uh, Madam Jose T. Bolofer. Ayan po. Kasama po ang mga teacher participants mula elementary, junior high, senior high, at saka po ang ating mga PSDSS and division apps. Thank you so much po, ma'am. And of course, pasalamatan din po namin ang uh, division ng Davao del Norte, ang mga teacher participants, mula naman po sa elementarya, sa junior high, at saka sa senior high. Ganon din po sa ating division apps, at saka sa ating PSDSS, Uh, headed by their CID Chief, Dr. Edward C. Amugis. Ayan po. And of course, hindi po natin makalimutan, pasalamatan din ang mga participants from the Division of Davao del Sur, the teacher participants in all levels, together with their PSDSS and Division Education Program Supervisors, headed by their CID Chief, Madam Cherilyn A. Comita. Thank you so much, Ma'am Che. And of course, Salamat din po sa Division of Davao Occidental, headed by their CID Chief, Sir Felix I. Anticristo, at sa lahat po ng teacher participants in all levels, kasama po ang inyong PSDSS and Division Apps. Thank you so much for viewing with us and for staying with us in this webinar. Of course, we would like to extend also our heartfelt thanks to the Division of Davao Oriental. Ayan, mga lumon ko ngaon, salamatay sang kamayo pag uh, tanaw sin in a webinar. Sa, um, salamatay kay ansaan kamo although medyo malisod yung kanaton signal ng saan pero I know that you are also finding ways and means para po makasali kayo sa webinar na ito muli daigay na salamat kamayong tanan of course uh, sa lahat po yan ng levels from elementary, junior high, senior high, teacher participants together with their PSDSS, division apps and of course headed by their OIC chief in CID Uh, Madam Maria Concepcion Wong, thank you so much po sa inyo. And salamat din po sa Division of Digos City, headed by their CID Chief, uh, Madam Beverly Daogdaog, together with their elementary, junior high, and senior high teacher participants, at din po ang Division Fs and PSDSS. Maraming maraming salamat po, Madam. And ito din po sa tinatawag natin yung City of Hogs, Maraming salamat din po sa ating uh, Division of Island Garden City of Samal. Ayan po, na pinamumunuan naman ng kanilang CID Chief, um, si Ma'am Chona M. Calatrava. Ayan, thank you so much, Ma'am. And of course, sa lahat din po ng elementary, junior high, and senior high teacher participants, kasama po ang inyong EPS at saka PSDSS. Okay po. And of course, extend also, it did po sa maraming salamat din po sa Division of Mati City. Ayan po, uh, part din po yan ng Davao Oriental at maraming salamat po sa inyo. Mga lumon gihapon, salamatay kamayo. Of course, headed by their CID Chief, Maria Gina F. Flores, and to all the teacher participants in all levels, and together with your public schools, district supervisor, 
supervisors and education program supervisors. Thank you so much po, ma'am and sirs. And of course, sa aking uh, sangay, sa walay pabor-pabor, <laughs> thank you so much, of course, to my chief in the CID, Sir Januario Iyamota, kasama po ang aming uh, mga kasamahan sa elementary, junior high and senior high teacher participants, and all public schools, district supervisors, and division education program supervisors po sa division of Panabo City, where I belong. Thank you so much po sa inyo. And of course, salamat din po ng napakarami sa participants mula naman sa Division of Tagum City headed by of course their CID Chief Madam Maria Fe Cibuan kasama po ang kanilang teacher participants in all levels and of course ang kanilang mga PSDSS and Division Education Program Supervisors Thank you, thank you po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo. And of course hindi din po namin makalimutang i-announce or acknowledge ang mga participants naman natin sa ALS. Ayan po, na meron din sila din po yung ating facilitator for the radio broadcast instruction. Of course, para sa ALS po at lahat po ng ating mga ALS division coordinators, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa amin. And all headed by our regional focal, Dr. Maricel S. Langahi. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Ayan po. And um, while waiting again, um, sa ating, I think, nagka, adyan na ba, Lodge? I'm sorry, I cannot see it in my monitor now. Um, adyan na ba siya? Wala pa, sir. Hindi ko pa makontak. Okay, kindly check. Kasi parang magka, nagkaroon niya pa ng uh, internet uh, problem po kay sir. Ano po? Okay? So, Ayan. And of course, um, patuloy ko na lang pong babatiin ang uh, ating mga particip uh, mga education program supervisors din po ng ating Region 11. Ayan po. Binabati namin. Uh, they are watching right now actually. Kasama po ng uh, sila din po ang nag head para po sa kanilang mga learning areas. Allow me to recognize them uh, again one by one. And of course, wag po kayo mag-alala kasi bukas po makakasama natin sila ng live na live sa ating virtual podium na ito, sa webinar natin. Okay po? So, of course, uh, hindi din po ito mag-go uh, uh, mag uh, mag itong webinar na ito kung hindi din po sa tulong ng ating uh, team mula sa CLMD. And of course, allow me to recognize them. Of uh, From kindergarten, the regional focal is Dr. Analisa C. Almazan. Siya rin po ang ating LRMS manager. Kaya nga po, uh, actually, wala pong tulugan ang lahat ng EPS ngayon dahil po sa pagre-review ng ating mga module na assigned po sa ating region, ang grade 3 modules po. Ayan po. So, kailangan po kasi uh, pagtuunan natin ng pansin dahil po yung mga modules na yan ay isusumiti din po sa ating central office para po ilan pang mga uh, corrections or suggestions po na maaari nilang ibigay sa atin para po yung learning material na ipapasok natin sa ating LMS ay siguradong dekalidad at uh, quality assured po yun. Ayan po. So maraming salamat po, um, Dr. Analisa Almazan. And of course, ang ating uh, regional focal naman po for MTB sa ating mother tongue at saka sa multi-grade. Walang iba kundi si Dr. George N. Wong. Thank you so much, sir, for watching. Together with the rest of your um, teachers and EPS po sa iyong learning area. Salamat din po sa ating uh, education program supervisor in charge po ng ating Filipino na si Dr. Mary Jane M. Mejorada. Salamat po, ma'am. At uh, ito po ay pagsisikapan ko pong magtagalog pero kung hindi ko po kaya ay doon po ako sa inyo magpapacoach. Ano po? Maraming maraming salamat, ma'am Jane. And of course, thank you so much to the Education Program Supervisor in charge din po ng ating English at the same time ng ating SPED, ah, ng ating iPad, rather, ng ating iPad at saka po sa ating SPJ uh, si Dr. Manuel P. Vallejo. Maraming maraming salamat. And thank you so much also to the Education Program Supervisor Regional Focal for Science. At the same time, our Regional Sports uh, Officer, Dr. Maria Lisa 
Birandoy. Thank you so much, ma'am, and to all your teams. And of course, maraming salamat din po kay Dr. Rene Pakpakin for mathematics naman po, na regional, regional focal natin. Inaantay lamang po natin siya sapagkat siya po ang magpa-facilitate sa atin patungkol po doon sa ating, uh, yung nakapala sa inyong link na yan para po sa Padlet for the Q&A for the forum. Ayan po. Thank you so much. And binabati rin po namin ang ilan pang mga ang kasama pa po sa CLMD na mga EPS para naman po sa Madrasa Education at saka focal din po ng Araling Panlipunan na walang iba kundi si Dr. Danilo Dohino. Thank you so much, sir. Para naman po sa ESP at saka sa SPFL, ang ating Education Program Supervisor na in-charge po dyan ay si Madam Maria Shello D. Estrada. Thank you so much, ma'am, for watching at saka po sa lahat ng iyong mga kaguruan. Ano po? And uh, binabati rin po namin ng maraming salamat at magandang umaga ang mga teacher participants na nasa group po naman na ni Dr. Pedelina Owebos, yung group po naman para sa EPP. TLE and TVL. Thank you so much po. And of course, ang ating tinatawag na learning area where I belong, doon naman po sa ating education program supervisor. Uh, actually, ang ano namin nito, uh, ma-share ko lamang ano, yung aming uh, tagline nito kapag nakita, basta mape, grabe. Ayan. So thank you so much, Madam Jessalyn B. De La Cuesta. At the same time, siya din po ang ating charge sa ating SPA at saka sa SPS and of course, sa ating SPED. Ayan. Thank you so much. And sa ating ALS na siya din manguna sa atin muli, tutulad ng sabi ko kanina para sa ating radio-based instruction for ALS na walang iba kundi ang ating regional focal, si Dr. Maricel S. Langgahit. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo mga madams and sirs. Okay po. So, Lutz, Andyan pa ba? <laughs> sir, wala talaga, sir. Hindi ko nga, ano, out of reach. Wait. Sige lang. Sa awa tulong naman ng Diyos ay makakakakos din tayo sa uh, pagkakataong ito. Ayan po. Um, Ma'am Luz, ano, asamahan mo naman ako on screen kasi po medyo yung aking uh, kalbo ay medyo Bakawak na po nila ito at uh, mangalangin na po sa ito. Okay. So, uh, sir? Mm -hmm. Yes. Pero na din po mga comments dito sa ating Padlet. Baka pwede po itong sagutan ni Sir Edong. Um, atay na lang po natin si Sir. Um, yung pagka-access kasi ng Padlet natin doon, hindi naman natin ma-access dito yun kung wala din siya. <laughs> anyway, Oh, sige lang. Maari ba natin ipasok ang kasa isa pa natin kasamahan, si Marjorie? Uh, Andiyan ba si Marjorie? Sige, pakikontact na lang ko si Marjorie. Ano po. Okay? And of course, recognize na lang din po namin ang mga pa, uh, isa din maalab na pagbati at pasasalamat po sa dedikasyon po ng lahat ng mga kaguruan sa buong Region 11 na kasama po namin sa webinar na ito ngayon. Uh, alam ko po na sa party po ninyo, hindi naman po tayo nagkakatulad ng sitwasyon at saka lalong-lalo na doon sa area ng connectivity natin. Ano po? Pero tulad nga po ng maipam naipamalas ng mga kaguruan, noong panahon na tayo ay nagkaroon ng webinar with the Sir Mark Anthony C. na talagang nagsubikap, gumawa ng paraan uh, na makapaghanap ng signal para po makasama sa webinar. Saludo po kami sa inyo, yung mga teachers po mula sa Davao de Oro. Thank you so much po sa inyo at uh, kayo po ay nagsisilbing inspirasyon sa amin lahat ng mga kaguruan na nanonood ngayon upang patuloy na gampanan ang sinumpaang tungkulin. Alalahanin po natin mga kaguruan na ang ating advokasya, ang ating bukasyon din sa pagtuturo ay hindi lamang po upang lubinan tayo ng mga kaalaman sa ating mga kabataan kundi tayo ay maging isang mabuti ihemplo para sa kanila upang maitaguyod nila ang kanila at susumika na maabot ang kanilang mga pangarap at gayon din po para sa kaunlara ng ating buong bayan. Yan po ang uh, advokasya ng sulong kinukalidad. Hindi po marapat na uh, tayo ay mawala ng pag-asa sa panahon ng pandemyang ito dahil nga po ginagawa din po ng ating kagawaran ng edukasyon sa pamumuno po ng ating honorable secretary. 
UNES at ng lahat po ng undersecretaries at saka assistant secretaries, lahat po ng mga school directors, uh, ay ginagawa po nila ang lahat ng paraan at cascade yan po sa lahat ng ating mga regional directors at assistant regional directors papunta po sa ating mga SDOs sa buong uh, Pilipinas. Ginagawa po natin ang paraan to address kung ano po ang dapat natin kunin uh, sa panibagong hapon na ito. Alam ko po, din ako din po bilang guro, bilang panibago din po sa ganitong pagkakataon na makapagsanay gamit ang ating LMS. Sa simula lamang po, medyo nawawag na po tayo nahihirapan. Gayun man ay, uh, gayun man ay uh, mairaraos din natin ito dahil tulad nga po na nagsimula ang ating K-12, ano po, napakarami nating mga agam-agam at saka marami tayong mga uh, tawag dito uh, pinagdaan ng mga pagsubok. Gayun man ay ngayon nasa ikaapat na yata tayong taon na gamitin natin ang K-12 uh, program naman. So hindi po... Uh, Mahirap kapag tayo po ay tulong-tulong sama-sama para po sa pagsulong ng ating rehiyon ng buong Davao Region at sa pagsulong din po ng kalidad ng edukasyon sa ating bansa. Ayan po. So maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong commitment, sa inyong dedication para po patuloy na magampanan ang inyong mga katungkulan, ang ating mga katungkulan, kasama na rin po ako doon at isa rin po akong guro, para po sa ating kabataan, sa pagsulong ng ating bayan. Po. So sa punto pong ito, I think andyan na po ang ating uh, isa na namang kasama ko. Uh, samahan niyo po muna ako dito. <laughs> Ayan, ma-marge. Okay. Ayun. So, siguro nagkakaroon talaga tayo ng ano, no? Ng uh, internet, uh, tawag nito, traffic din. Kasi marami din tayong nag access So far, sa tala po, ilan nga ba, Ma'am Lodge? Ilan na nga ba ang nanonood sa atin ngayon? Hindi ko po ma... Sa ang nakikita ko lang on screen is um, about more than 1,000. Pero sa realidad po ng ating mga social media accounts, doon sa nakapost ay marami din pong nagsishare sa ating uh, uh, social media accounts. Ayan po. Okay, so thank you so much po sa inyo. Ayan. Okay? So, maaari ba natin makasama si Ma'am Janet on screen? Ayan. Okay? Mm-hmm. So while waiting po, sigurado ako nakapag-browse na kayo sa inyong mga uh, uh, browser, respective browsers po, doon sa tutorial videos. Ayan po. In a way, ma uh, pwede naman po ninyo yung ma uh, natawag niyan, uh, ma-access agad-agad kasi ready na po yun. Yung nga lang po, kailangan nga po natin ng connection kasi naka, ano po yun sa YouTube, pwede rin nyo din po i-download po yun. Ayan, para po at least kahit na naka, di kayo nakakonect sa YouTube or sa iba pang uh, portals ay magagamit nyo pa rin po. Ano, masusundan nyo po. Ayan. Okay? Um, do we have now uh, visitors from... Andiyan na ba ang mga guests natin? Ma'am Lodge? Hello po? Okay. Ayan. Mm -hmm. So, sige po, while waiting, pwede nyo pong post na kayo ng comment nyo dyan at saka pwede po kayo mag-browse na, na inyong mga um, tawag nito. Uh, I-browse nyo na po yung inyong mga access para maka-access po kayo sa ating tutorials po. Okay? Ayan. Sige. So, Ma'am Lodge, talagang wala pa po ba? Ma'am Lodge? na hindi kita marinig na kamute kaya ta ano ah sige ayun wala pa po sir okay, wala pa rin ayan so may tataguyod ko ba ito <laughs> okay magalala 
Sasamahan ko po kayo while nag-aantay po at ako po ay tatalak at tatalak dito. Hindi ko po kayo tatalak sa ano po. So, sabay lamang po tayo dyan kahit po sinusunan natin yung mga access ni Sorini po na siyang in charge po ng ating forum para po sa umaga yung ito. Ayun po. Okay? At saka po, maalala lamang po sa lahat ano po. Sa bawat live po natin, sa bawat stream po natin ay ipipigay po namin sa inyong respective CID chiefs ang mga link po sa mga susunod na mga araw. Iba-iba po kasi ang magiging link po natin sa mga susunod pang mga araw ng pagsasanay. At saka po, tulad ng nasabi ni Dr. Duloso kanina, magkakaroon din po tayo ng breakaway session na kung saan ma-iubuto po yung ating mga different teacher participants different teacher participants po sa igugrupo po kayo elementarya, junior high at saka po sa senior high ayan po saka magkakaroon po kayo ng makakasama din po natin ang ating mga simulation teachers facilitators po Allow me to recognize them, ang ating mga makakasama na teacher uh, facilitators para po sa ating um, susunod na mga araw na pagsasanay. I think uh, they will be with us on July 8. Ayan po. So simulan ko i-recognize muna ang ating mga simulation teacher facilitators sa elementary. In charge for kindergarten, we have Ma'am Tina Shapo, uh, Ma'am Perlita, and Ma'am Perlita Ahos. For grade 1 naman, makakasama natin si Ma'am Jenny Hermoso at saka uh, Ma'am Ivy Cayetano. For grade 2, si Ma'am Jill Rose Agonia and Ma'am Dali Jane Hamil. For grade 3, we have Jovelyn Candia and Ma'am Janice May Ordinario. For grade 4, Ma'am Jernilyn Grace Leopardas and Ma'am Maria Fem Maglina. And for grade 5, we have Sir J.R. Villa Abrilie and partnered with Ma'am Mary Ann Ramirez. Thank you so much. And for grade six, we have Mam Iris Christine Mejos and Sir Jade Anthony Bancolita. And another for grade three and grade five, we have Sir Edgar Bigibao and Mam Ruthel Alvesa. Ayan po. Marami salamat po in advance sa inyo dahil para po sa kaalaman ng lahat ang ating mga simulation teacher facilitators po ay nakakaroon ng pagsasanay. Gabi-gabi po yan, kahit na po Sabado at Linggo, ay sinasanay po namin sila, nakakasama namin sila sa ating mga webinars na kami po on our group with, uh, of course, uh, headed by our uh, CLMD Chief, Dr. Janet Gibiloso, at kapartner po natin ang ating ICTU na pinamumunuan naman po ni Engineer Rick Ginto. Ayan po. Okay? At kasama din po ang ating mga LMS uh, developing uh, MS, LMS developer team. Ayan po. Okay. Recognize also ang mga simulation teacher facilitators para naman po sa junior high. Ang in-charge po sa ating uh, mathematics, we have Ma'am Emilia T. Tabanao. For science, Ma'am Nesim B. Mediodia. For English, Ma'am Mary Rose T. Dayot. For Filipino, we have Sir Aljun M. Cordan. And uh, for Technology Livelihood Education, we have Ma'am Queenie May Villamor. For Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao, we have Ma'am Yula May S. Ombing. For Araling Panlipunan, we have Vicente D. Malacua. And for MAPE sa Junior High po, we have Sir Weldon S. Soliano. Thank you so much po sa inyo in advance, mga moms and sirs. And of course, sa atin namang simulation teacher facilitators for senior high. Ito naman po sila makakasama ninyo uh, para sa mga susunod na araw. At uh, sigurado ako kilala ninyo po sila at uh, baka mga kaguro nyo pa sila sa inyong mga uh, respective uh, schools. Uh, I-congratulate nyo po sila at bigyan nyo po sila ng um, two thumbs up at pampagood luck din po. Kasi hindi po madali yung kanilang ginagampanan. Kasi para po... Uh, ninyo malaman ang ginagawa, na bakit natin ginagawa ang simulation, uh, gagawin ang simulation para po makita ninyo na yung ating LMS ay functional po 
at saka talagang meron siyang interaction na ma maaring gawin kahit nga po hindi tayo physically uh, connected kahit na sa virtual lamang ay makakaroon tayo ng interaksyon sa ating mga mag-aaral, may interaksyon din sa si ating mga punong guro sa ating mga kaguruan, ganun din po ang ating mga uh, education program supervisors, ang ating mga PSDSS po ay maaaring magkaroon ng interaksyon doon po sa ating LMS. At yung LMS po natin para din po sa kaalaman ng lahat ay ginagawa din po ang lahat ng kaparaanan ng ating mga uh, developing team na sa CLMD at saka sa ICT po, kasama po ang lahat ng regional identified writers, editors, illustrators, and of course, ang ating mga ICT experts sa buong Region 11 na siyang nagdi-develop, nag-aayos ng ating mga lesson exemplars. Para po, uh, tulad nga po ng nasabi ni Dr. Fitalvero kanina, na yung ating LMS ay talagang kung sa uh, binisaya pa, ihukad na lang para sa mga teachers. At yun po, kompleto na po yun ng laman. Yun po ang pinagsisikapan natin sa Region 11, uh, tulad nga po ng advocacy ng kanilang uh, LCP, ng Learning Continuity Plan, yung tinatawag na I Teach. Uh, doon po, ang nakalagay doon na tagline ay Every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. And of course, the Regional Office 11 of uh, DepEd is delivering quality education across Davao Region. Ayan po. So yun po ang pinagsisikapan. So ito po yung mga teacher, practice, uh, teacher facilitators natin for simulation para po sa senior high. Course subjects, in charge po niyan si Ma'am Gretchen Escanatoy. For applied subjects, we have Dr. Paulino Tado and Ma'am Dani Bell Anduyan. Para naman po sa specialization subjects sa GAS Academic Track, we have Ma'am Christina Ebdao and Ma'am Bemi C. Magno. Para naman po sa specialization subjects for ABM, for Accountancy, Business and Management, Academic Track din po ito, we have Ma'am Rose Nikinto and Ma'am Ethel Buhisan. Para naman po sa UMS, specialization subjects, sa Sir Joseph Richel Ramos, at saka kasama din po si Ma'am Sherilyn L. Ramos. And para naman po sa TVL, uh, TVL TRA, specialization subjects, uh, we have Ma'am Leslie M. Palma. Ayan po, papasensyahan po ninyo, ano po, kasi medyo uh, nasasamid ako. <laughs> At saka naman po, para naman po sa STEM, specialization subjects po sa STEM, we have Sir Kevin D. Pude and Ma'am Diane Rose S. Pilo. Para naman po sa arts and design track, specialization subjects, we have Sir Vladimir Santos and Sir Nelson Rolite. Ayan po, thank you so much. And uh, specialization subjects naman po, again, para sa arts and design track pa rin, kasi po marami ito na... Uh, subjects dyan. Uh, kasama po dyan si Sir Jefferson Bangot at saka si Sir Abram John Alontaga. And para naman po sa ating sports track specialization subjects, we have Ma'am Errol May Vergara and Ma'am Kizaya Lu Binigyan. Ayan po. So thank you so much. Yan po yung inyong makakasama na mga teachers and of course kung hindi niyo pa sila nakikilala ng personal wag po kayong mag-alala at makikita niyo din po sila at least ngayon ma meron na kayong overview sa kanilang mga pangalan ayan po so pwedeng pwede niyo na po silang i-add sa Facebook ayan <laughs> depende na po sa kanila ano po kung i-accept po nila yon okay and of course para naman po sa ating uh, trainers sa ating uh, psychosocial uh, I think sa panglimang araw sila, oo, makakasama natin, of course, ang ating mga experts naman dyan, headed by our chief ng ESSD, Dr. Warlito Ihua, kasama po dyan si Dr. Uh, Dr. Mara C. Medrano, kasama din po si Stephen Mark T. Castres, ang, si Sir John Arnel P. Villacorte, and of course, ang... Uh, Kaibigan din po natin na si Sir Leonides Jimmy T. Hisoro III. Ayan po. Sila po yung makakasama ninyo para naman po sa ating uh, psychosocial. And we would like also to extend our special thanks sa team na ito. Itong ating uh, LMS uh, trainers. At saka, of course, pasalamat tayo with uh, Sir 
uh, Joselito Edong na tinatawag din po namin Chief Noy ano dahil siya nagdadala ng ating uh, uh, trainers mula ano uh, ng training mula pa nung nakaraang linggo. Ayan, irerecognize ko lamang po sila kasama sa team po ng ating LMS si ang ating computer programmer si Sir Pocholo Hernandez. Kanina po nakasama niyo siya si Sir Joshua Wong, ang ating namang uh, uh, CMT1 in charge, uh, CMT1 sa ating ICTU, nakasama din po kanina. And of course, si Ma'am Lujin Masanggit. At ang kanilang uh, chief trainer nga po, ang LMS developer natin, si Sir Joselito Edong, si Sir Noy. Lumon din po yan, lumon, pagdaya ngaon. At saka of course, regards sa lahat ng mga um, da, uh, tawag nito, mga kalumunan ko sa Dabo Oriental and uh, Mati City. Ayan po. And of course, ang lahat po ng ito ay since nasa bilong sila sa ICTU, pinamumunuan naman po sila ng ating ITO na si regional ITO natin na si Engineer Ricardo Ginto. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat. Okay? Okay. So, sa punto pong ito ay ipapakita po namin sa inyo yung ibabalik natin yung ating uh, teaser kanina at uh, bibigyan ko kayo ng overview kung bakit nagkaroon ng ganyan ano po so ipapakita mo muna namin yung teaser yung uh, bago nagsimula ang ating webinar ano po okay standby lang po kayo diyan welcome to CLMD Connect in support to the comprehensive region led learning continuity plan LCP I teach integrating technology academic community the household ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Edokalidot. This is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region. Ayun po. So, kung nakita po ninyo yung ating, uh, ano po, yung ating intro, yung ating teaser na yan po, may nakalagay doon yung I teach. Yung iTeach po natin, yan po ang uh, flagship ng ating LCP na, pinam na ano po ng Region 11. Of course, sa pamumuno ng ating Regional Director, Dr. Evelyn Arfitalvero, at ganun din po ng ating Assistant Regional Director, uh, Maria Ines C. Asuncion. At kasama po dyan ang ating Curriculum, uh, curriculum Learning and Management uh, Division na pinamumunuan naman po ni Dr. Janet. Uh, Viloso. Yun pong I teach natin ay integration, uh, integrating technology sa ating academic community, yun nga po yung ating household. Kasi nga po, we are addressing the new normal now with the use of technology, of course, maaabot natin ang kalidad na edukasyon para sa ating mga kapataan. Ayan po. And of course, lahat naman po yan ay anchor doon sa ating sulong edukalidad na siya naman din pong uh, flagship na isinusulong ng ating Department of Education sa pangkalahatan. Ayan po. So sa puntong ito, makakasama ko po on screen. Ang kasama ko, o mamaya din po, siya din po ang magdadala. Ay, makakasama din po siya mamaya sa ma, hapon. Na ngayon, makakasama na natin. Mm -mm. Of course, ang aking partner na pinakamaganda sa CLMD. Ayan. Di, ibabrag ko na lamang ano, bago kita ipakita, pero... Ito din po ay uh, nanalong uh, Miss Bansalan. Ewan ko lang po anong year. Pero tatanungin na lang natin sila ano po. Okay? So, welcome po si Ma Miss Marjorie Ann Hoverillo. Ayan. Hello, yes, Kate. good morning everyone. Good morning, Sir June. And medyo nakakahiya naman yung yung introduction sa akin. Uh -oh. But anyway, thank you so much. So, I am Marjorie from Curriculum and Learning Management Division. And I am very happy to be uh, part of this RTOT for this week. Yes. Yes, uh, I am live here po dito sa Bansalan. Medyo yung situation dito, hindi pa gaano accessible yung ating transpo. Opo. So kaya uh, naka-remote pa po ako from the office until today kasi mahirap pa po yung uh, transportation from Bansalan to Davao City. 
Well, it's okay naman po, ano, basta keep safe lang tayo dyan, ma-march, ano. And of course, um, yes, and alam, yes. kong, alam kong medyo nahihirapan ka din po sa signal at I think nasa labas ka na ng iyong bahay, ano. <laughs> yes, nandito ko sa labas ng bahay, Sir June, para mas malakas yes. yung signal. Opo. Oo, ayan po. Okay. Uh, anyway, ma-march. Uh, Ang pagkakaman niyo po si ma-march sa mga susunod na mga araw din. Uh, kasama pa po ang isa na naman nating uh, may pinakamaganda din po akong kasamang co-host. Ano hindi lamang po ako. Hindi lamang po si Ma'am Marge. Kaya po, alam ko naman na uh, hindi na tawag ka sa akin ng ating friend. Ako yung uh, meron daw yung happy beauty. Kasi nga po, <laughs> ayun. Uh, my face is alright. And of course, my head explains it all. Uh, thank you so much. Pero, salamat pa rin kayo Ma'am Marge doon sa exits. Of course, din naman din Yes, Brian. Thank you so much for that uh, pansag na good hectic no? good ha, good ha, good hectic lang siya para hindi mo <laughs> hindi masyado And I think Sir June uh, Sir Renato Pakpakin is already ready so maybe yeah. we can invite him now on screen Yes, of course of, uh, Welcome Sir Pops Ayan Sir Renato Ay, thank you, Lord. Hello, Sir Ene. Kamusta ka, Sir Ene? At uh, nakasama na namin kayo, ano po? Ayan. Okay na po ba tayo dyan, oh. Sir Ene? Oh, yes, John. Yes, John. Okay. Um, Sige po. So, Sir Ene, uh, maaari nyo na pong i-share on screen. I think, uh, Sir Ene, hindi na natin na uh, buto. Kanina binigyan natin sila sa pat na oras ano po, na makapag-open sa ating padlet. At yung posisyon natin po. Titingnan natin at uh, sasagutan ng ating mga speakers sa umagang ito. Ayan. So, Ma'am Marge, just stand by. Okay ba tayo din, Ma'am Ma Marge? Okay ba yung reception ko sa inyo? Malinaw ba? Yes, Sir June. I can see you clearly, Paul. Ayan. Thank you so much. Ayan. Thank you so much to my sponsor, Green Light. <laughs> Papaliwanan. Okay. Adyot lang dyan, ha, Kai. Ako panggi. Kuan. I-open pa. That's okay, Sir Rene. Just uh, take your time. Ayan. So, Ma'am Marge, kumusta na ang buhay-buhay natin dyan sa Bansalan? Okay lang naman, Sir June. As of today, uh, wala na kaming um, recorded the infected ng COVID. We had one infected COVID before and luckily, okay na siya. So, naka-recover na yung infected person. And naka-uwi na siya dito sa Bansalan. Ayun, salamat sa Diyos, ano, yun nga po. Um, of course, keep safe lang po tayo lahat, although ang ginagawa naman po natin ay pagtupad ng ating mga kumpulin, pero kailangan pa rin safety first. Okay, John. So, today I'll be showing the result of our oh, okay comments, questions, clarifications coming from the different schools division offices as they input uh, at include their comments, questions, and clarifications in the Padlet. Uh, can you see that, uh, Sir John? Sir John? Makikita mo ba, Sir John? Yes po, Sir. Makita mo? Uh, yes, Sir. Uh, nakikita ko naman po siya. You, uh, we will make it full screen na lamang po. Ano? In a way, naririnig naman po yung audio natin. Yes, Sir. Okay, so uh, as we can see, we have... Uh, the comments coming from Davao City, Davao de Oro, Davao del Norte, Davao del Sur, Davao Oriental, Davao Occidental, um, Mati City, Igacos, Panabo City, Tagum City, Digo City. So we can see the the comments coming from them. So let us start from Davao City, John. Mababasa uh, mo ba, John? Okay. Uh, so hindi ko po siya nab mababasa, sir, kasi... I am, hindi ako naka-full stream. Kasi po, pag nag-full stream ako, hindi na ninyo oh, ako okay. makikita. Ayan. Pero, pero, pero makikita sa ano, John? Makikita sa ating mga audience? Yes po. They can view okay. this one. Okay. Naman. So Sige, we will, be, compi uh, we will mm -hmm. be compiling, no? We will be compli compiling the, the comments, questions, clarifications coming from our audience, John, through this Padlet. Because the, the comments, clarifications, and questions we're already arranged according to school's division, according to by according to their division. 
Okay. And also, John, um, tapos naman siguro sila lahat na naka-encode. Okay. So, Meron na ba, ating... sir? Okay, responses nila, okay na na? No? Oh, okay na. Uh, kung ating titingnan, John, um, some, some were actually not questions. Uh, uh, question pala. Uh, may iba na hindi tanong, mayroon iba naman na mga tanong. Okay, so let us uh, randomly pick one question coming from Davao City, John. Okay, so, see you, sir. According to, so, Ayan Herbas no, of Davao City, um, sa LMS, pwede rin po ba ang, mga, ang real-time collaboration with the students through video conferencing? Ayan. So, mm. Sige, sir. Uh, pasasagutin natin ang ating uh, chief trainer, si Chief Noy. Sir Noy? Ayan. So, sir, pwede... Sige po, sir, Ren, paki ulit po ulit ng uh, katanungan. Ang tanong, sir, is pwede rin po ba ang real-time collaboration with the students through video conferencing? Uh, so, actually, po, uh, not uh, within mismo sa ating LMS, pero pwede tayong maglagay doon ng uh, forum type na link uh, na kung saan pwede natin silang i-link doon sa ating Google Meet or di kaya sa Zoom or any na video conferencing platform. So pwede tayong maglagay doon. Pero kung gusto nilang within the LMS mismo, sa ngayon ay eh, wala pa po tayong ganong feature. Although may mga existing na po, pero mga commercial pa yung mga features na yun. O, sa ngayon. So yung uh, maganda doon, yung gagamitin lang muna natin, yung mga existing na kung saan it's uh, free. So pwede natin ilagay yung mga links na yon para ma-inform natin yung ating mga learners, ipopost natin as a forum as part of the additional learning resource na nakatouch doon sa, sa topic mismo. Maybe this afternoon, uh, pwedeng ipakita yan ang ating kasama dyan sa team. Okay po, Sir Noy. Ano po? So, maano ko lamang, Sir Noy, ano? Ma -ma mailagdag ko lamang, no? Yun pong sinasabi ni Sir Noy actually na forum is isa po yun sa feature ng ating uh, LMS. Na-try na po yan ng mga, uh, na-try na po namin yan. At... Uh, Yung mismong LMS na yon, pwede po kayong maglagay nga po, tulad na nasabi ni Sir, maglalagay kayo doon ng link. Halimbawa po, kung gusto nyo i-meet si student o, o yung students nyo po sa Google Meet, sa Teams, o di kaya sa Zoom, o kung saan pang mga available portals na maaari kayong mag-meet, basta na pag usapan nyo. Anyway, na-view po naman yon sa students interface ng bata. So, pwedeng-pwede po yun. Ayan. So, thank you so much, Sir Noy. Ano po? Ayan. Opo. Sir Rene, okay. meron pa ba so, Okay, from Davao de Oro. So, from okay. Davao de Oro, John. So, if everybody, like teachers, learners, and parents alike will access the learning management system, will it not experience the same problem we are facing during training na laging ang net connections? Mahirap makapasok, kaya puyatan ang nangyari dahil pahirapan mag-download ng applications. So, di ba kanina, uh, ang sabi ni Sir Noy, uh, ilalag out yung iba kasi um, pa para makapasok no, ang kanyang ino-open. How about kung actual na talaga, nagagamitin na ng mga teachers ang uh, LMS at halos lahat sila na ang gagamit, uh, posible bang mangyari din ganun na hindi tayo makapasok na laging naglalaging out? Okay, parang ganun siguro ang tanong, sir. Mm -hmm. oh, yung, anyway, yung uh, uh, plano naman nito dito, uh, dito sa ating LMS is school-based naman itong implementation. So, hindi po siya centralized na na-access uh, lahat. No? So, ibig sabihin, ito ay exclusive lang per school. So, yung account nila, yung kanilang domain mismo ay per school. So, yung recommendation natin dyan is gagamit talaga ng uh, dedicated no, sa web hosting, dedicated uh, account sa web hosting, huwag yung mga shared hosting kasi pagka shared hosting uh, kung marami nang nag-access sa site ay eh, normal talaga na babagsak yung site. So again, yung recommendation natin sa implementation nito for the hosting is dapat dedicated and then school-based yung implementation. Huwag lang muna yung diretso pang malakihan na, na yun naman ang initial plan before pa na school-based. Okay. So so ganito sir sir Noy. Yeah, after ma, ma ano na ma, magawa na ito, makumpleto na, malagyan na natin ng mga ng mga lessons ang LMS, ida-download na itong system to the school level. 
At ang yes, magmamanage yes. na ay ang school, meaning hindi na lahat uh, na mga teachers ay gagamit sa isang uh, domain or parang isang site, sir, no? Parang yes, ganun, sir. Uh, sir. Pero meron pa tayong additional. Itong pinakita natin kanina, yung mga presentation natin, uh, plain ano lang po yun, utilization of our learning management system. Pero may isa pa tayong portal na ginagawa na kung saan ando naka nakalagay lahat na doon nila i-upload ngayon lahat ng mga learning resources para doon na lang i-harvest ni teacher. O kung mag-harvest na harvest na lang si teacher doon ng mga learning resources. So isang portal lang po yun. O isang mm -hmm. portal. So ito, itong LMS natin, ito lang po yung gagamitin for the de delivery of our uh, lesson. But then, yung mga learning materials ay uploaded din sa isang portal ng Region 11. Okay, Sir Noy. Uh, from Davao del Norte, Sir Noy, may tanong. Good morning, yeah. Sir. Tanong ko lang po, pwede malilink ang LMS at ang model? So, this is Sir Al from Dato Balong National High School. So, pwede ba daw malilink ang LMS at ang model? So, anong kaibahan ng LMS at ang model? Actually, yung LMS na ginagamit natin, ang, yung model kasi, yun ang name ng platform na ginagamit. Uh, learning Management System Platform Model or the Modular Object Oriented Dynamic Learning Environment. Yan po ay open source so and then known po siya worldwide. So, yun ang maganda doon. So, kumbaga, wala silang uh, yung kaibahan lang nila is in terms of doon sa kanilang name. Uh -huh. Hindi natin siya pwedeng i-compare as LMS and model kasi itong LMS natin the platform na ginagamit is si model. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So, ang LMS, platform model. Platform so, yung ginamit, oo. Platform, uh, yung, uh, yung model, model na platform yung ginamit natin sa ating learning management system. So, okay. actually, marami pang ano, yung manakikita siguro nilang mga LMS, hindi siguro nila alam na yun pala ay model din. Kasi nga, uh, uh, marami kasing uh, team na pwede nating install sa ating uh, LMS. So, pwede natin siyang i-customize, depende sa mga colors sa gusto natin, depende sa arrangement or setup ng uh, LMS na gusto natin. So, pwede yun. O, model yung ginagamit na platform and then maraming teams sa pagpipilian. So, yun. So, inisip siguro nila na magkaiba si model at saka magkaiba din itong uh, uh, isa lang ko sila. Okay. Sir, from Davao del Sur. So, from Davao del Sur, may tanong, sir. Uh, how to connect po sa local network sa school without using data? Possibly na, ano na, naisip na niya na ito ay download sa school. Um, how about walang internet at school? Pwede ba daw? Pwede ba makakonek sila sa kanilang local school network without using yes. data? Yes, sir. Actually, pwede po yun, sir. O, magsiset up lang kayo doon ng server. Doon natin i-install itong ating model. And then, bakit ay maglalagay pa ng uh, router? So, yung router ang magiging gateway ngayon ng mga users. Like, for example, ako si teacher ngayon, para makakonek ako doon sa server, kailangan kong makakonek doon sa router or sa wifi na isa set up ngayon sa school. Pero hindi ibig sabihin, kapag may wifi na doon, ibig sabihin connected sa internet. Actually, pwede po yun offline. Now, since ako ngayon nasa teacher, connected na ako sa server, para naman makapag-interact si learners sa aking mga lessons, kailangan connected din siya doon sa isang router. So, same network kami. So, same network kami. So, doon sila, yung kailang mga devices, eh, pwedeng i-connect na lang din doon. So, automatic, makapag-access na siya doon sa Uh, mga posted lessons ni teacher. So, if ever naman, hindi po mobile devices ginagamit nila, hindi mga smartphone, kahit yung mga computers doon na naka-network. So, yung maganda dito, hindi mo na kailangan i-install itong model pa sa lahat ng mga computers. Isang computer lang naka-install dapat to, sa server. And then, once naka-network na siya, yun lang kukunin natin yung IP address ng server. Yun ang i-access ngayon doon sa mga client PC. So, hindi mo na kailangan pa i-install ako ng model dito sa server, mag i ako ulit doon sa other computers kasi gagamit sila or sa laptop, hindi na kailangan. Kailangan lang natin is yung IP address ng server at saka connected tayo within our local area network. So, walang internet connection na kailangan doon. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So, from Davao Oriental, sir, ito po ang kanilang tanong. Good morning po. Ask lang po if may certain format ba or guidelines sa paglalagay ng mga activities and learning materials sa LMS po. Like sa LP po na may motivation down to evaluation and remediation po. Parang ganun din po ba? From Banay-Banay District, Davao Oriental po. Hmm. 
So, yung, yung sa akin naman po is in terms of, uh, yung sa amin dito sa LMS is in terms of the the technical, no? the technical side. So, pwedeng-pwede kahit anong files ang pwede natin i-attach. But of course, when it comes naman doon sa mga types of, ano, yung, yung content naman, yun po yung uh, hindi natin hawak kung sino ba yung inserts doon para sa mga restriction ng ilalagay natin ng mga content doon. Yung sa amin dito sa LMS, on the technical side, kung pwede bang mag-attach, uh, ano po ba yung mga kumbaga, uh, guidelines no sa mga files na i-attach natin. Kung sa amin naman, ay eh, nakadepende yan kung ano yung mga lessons na inihanda ni teacher. Image ba siya, PDF, mga video ba yan? So, pwede yon So, pagdating naman doon sa uh, quality assurance, doon sa mga materials na yon I think uh, si sir siguro yung ano dyan. Uh-huh. Okay, so Sir Noy, makikita naman nun, doon, di ba? Di ba may ano kayo, may, mayroon kayo nakalagay na parang outline uh, na naka-indicate na doon lahat ng mga parts ng lesson exemplar. Di ba nakita naman nila yon? Yes. Uh, uh, yun ang parang tanong nila kung paano yun ilalagay sa LMS, siguro. Um, uh, mm. Kung gano'n, pwede so, yun. Oo, pwede yes, sir. Pwede uh, yun. So from Davao Occidental, Sir, from Davao Occidental, Uh, may tanong, hello po, from Lister Jen Arivalo. Ask ko lang on how to upgrade the LMS account from student to course creator. So, posible naka-open na ito. <laughs> posible nakapag-sign up na siya doon sa ating LMS kanina, no? yung ginamit natin kanina kasi nakikita yung link. Okay? Uh-huh. Anyway, may demo site din tayo for para sa kanilang pagsasanay online. So, yung mangyari doon, by default, Kapag nag-sign up kayo sa LMS, automatic yung default account mo ay uh, student level, no? hindi siya teacher. So kung gusto mong ma-upgrade, so yun, kailangan mong mag-notify. No? Kailangan i-notify any of our team from the ICT and uh, CLMD. Uh, kasi manual yung up- uh, upgrading doon ng mga accounts. So sino mag-upgrade, sir? Um, any from their of our- IT? Any of our team as as ah, any of your time, the team of the regional time, office. Uh, uh, pero during the implementation na uh, as mentioned kanina, syempre school based naman ito, di ba? So mangyari doon sa school level, sino yung kanilang ICT coordinator? So siya yung in charge doon sa upgrading ng mga accounts from teacher at from student to teacher account. If sa school level na or if on offline uh, mode ng ating uh, LMS. Ah, okay, sir. So, from Digo City, sir. So, Digo City, hello, good AM. Ask lang po, are we given the presentation by grade level and by subjects po? Or are we the one who will make the lesson presentation by subject? Okay. So, possibly, um, ano, sir? Masagot siguro ng CLM dito. Um, for, for me, um, bibigyan, oh, no, from the organizer of this of this webinar bibigyan sila ng mga copies of the presentation and and di ba John i-record ito and this will be played in YouTube so pwede nila mabalik-balik pag ano pag tingin sa sa video and are we the one who will make the lesson presentation by subject pupunuin na po ang ating lesson at ang ating learning management system ng mga lessons di ba may ipapasok na ng mga lessons mayroon tayong Um, development teams, mayroon din tayong yung, yung sa simulators, naglalagay na sila doon sa LMS. Pero kapag may nagawa ang teacher, pwede niya idadagdag doon sa LMS. Di ba, sir? Sir Edong? Yes, sir. Pwede, pwede. So kahit ano sila, gumagawa sila ngayon ng kanilang mga lessons gamit ang ating LMS offline, yung mga lessons na yun, eh, pwede naman nilang i-back up and then restore natin para magkaroon tayo ng centralized uh, storage ng ating mga courses. No? So, pwede yan i-back up. So, may mga video na din kami. Uh, actually, i-upload pa yung video kung how to back up our course and then paano din mag-restore. Halimbawa kasi, kapag halimbawa sa si ICT coordinator ngayon, nag-set up siya sa isang server, tapos gusto niyang palitan yung kanyang server, at least alam niya kung paano niya i-back up yung mga courses or mga materials na nilagay na ni teacher and then ito transfer to another server. So, walang problema doon, sir. Okay, so from Igako, sir. Good morning. Can I use the account module that I created during the Region on C webinar of Mr. Mark C? Ah, hindi po kasi 
uh, ibang link din naman po yung uh, account niyo siguro. So at this sa ting LMS ngayon, ay eh, iba din itong uh, ibang URL din ito. No, so hindi pwede. Uh, kasi yung URL natin na ibibigay, yun ng for online training lang doon kay magsasani kung paano gumawa. Yung doon naman sa LMS doon kay Sir Marxy, yung level lang natin talaga doon ay student tayo. Wala tayong control doon para maging course creator tayo. So from the central office, sila yung may hawak doon, may control noon for the upgrading ng account kung gusto ba nilang i-upgrade to teacher account. So mananatiling student level lang po yung sa atin doon. But dito sa ating LMS, ayan, may upgrade tayo. So control natin, pwede nating i-upgrade from student level to course creator. And then sa local naman, full control ninyo. Kung kayo mismo naging sold sa local, full control ninyo kung ilang course creator o teacher by add ninyo, how many students yung gusto ninyong makapag-create ng account. Kasi school, sa school ano yan eh, offline. So kayo mismo yung may full control. Okay, sir. So from Mati City, sir, uh, LMS is very useful to both teachers and learners. But the problem is the lack of devices and resources of our learners. How can we address that one? Paano daw i-address ang lack of resources and devices of their learners? That's it. From Mati City. Mm. Na, uh, uh, nandito ba si ano John? Si Ma'am Janet? Naka pasok John? Uh, coming pa sa sir. Ah, okay. So, pwede ko masagot naman siguro ito. Um, yes, sir. Go ahead po. Uh, kapag may resources, kapag may device, may resources, may internet connection, uh, anong pwede naman ito magagamit for online learning, di ba? How about those without? Magagamit ba ito kung, kung wala silang resources or devices? Mayroon tayong different um, learning modalities. No? We have so, several options. So, kung wala talagang devices, technology to use in the conduct of less uh, classes, so, pwede sila sa modular. Pwede din sila sa RBI. So, yung radio-based instruction, pwede din sila sa educational TV, kung may TV sa kanila. Di ba, John? So, yes, po. Okay. So, marami ang options na pwede natin um, ma maibigay sa ating mga learners para uh, no one will be left behind. Di ba? Yan. Opo. Ayun. So, uh, uh, Sir, uh, sir Pax, ma-add lamang natin ano po. Uh, baka po kasi, kaya po na, nagtanong si teacher ng ganon, kasi they thought na talagang kailangan natin mag-online tayo lahat. Hindi po. Uh, meron nga, yun nga po, uh, we are, we are, our uh, Department of Education is very flexible in providing uh, educational access po sa lahat ng ating learners. Ito pong pinag-aaralan natin ngayon na LMS na ito ay ito po yung uh, parang natin class record na din. Dito natin pwedeng ilagay kahit na po yung ating mga uh, mag-aaral modular, wala pong problema. Pwede po natin din silang i-add dito. Kasi po, yung namang ilalagay sa LMS na mga learning materials Kasi ang LMS lang naman po, ano, di ba, Sir Pax at saka Sir uh, Noy, ang LMS ay isa lamang itong platform na kung saan makaka-access tayo ng mas madali. Pero ang uh, laman po nito lahat ay patungkol naman po doon sa mga learning materials na nasa modular instruction din. So, ibig sabihin, sa lahat po ng mga learning modalities na binibigay sa atin ni DepEd, yung modular for distance learning, yung... Uh, modular on-air na gamit na po yung RBI, tsaka yung television, itong blended learning, tsaka itong online, lahat po yan ay magkakatulad ng laman. It's a matter of magkakaiba po yung pagbibigay ng proseso ng kaalaman doon sa bata. Halimbawa, kung sa modular, kung gagamitin yung modular, kasi yung ilalagay nga sa LMS, module, uh, ADM module din yun. Iprint, diba? Iprint na sa modular na ibibigay din doon sa ating mga batang wala namang access po sa ating uh, uh, mga gadgets na maaaring ma-access nila. Ayan po. Oh. Okay, John. Thank you, John, for, for yeah, an, sir, okay. a clearer... Saka, sir, diba? Meron kasi akong nakita, ano po, may dagdag lang. Kasi yung, yung namang sa modular, hindi naman baka itatanong din, paano natin mamomonitor yung mga bata na nasa modular? 
meron din po yan silang mga supplemental na idadagdag natin. Yung nga pong gagawin natin na mga recorded natin na video or audio na maaari naman nating isave sa USB, sa CD, o di kaya uh, talagang bibigyan natin sila ng uh, mga reinforcement ng mga materials para din po maunawaan nila ng lubos yung kanilang module. Ano po? Tsaka Sir Pax, maidagdag na lang din natin. Ah, ah, ah. So, di ba nagkala sa Facebook din, ano po, na baka required daw, imobili na ng gadget, ang pamilya, ang mga ano, ganito, ganyan, ang nanay, tatay. Napakarami po natin nababasa na ganun. Hindi po, ipapaunawa po natin, at tayo mga kaguruan mismo, we are the prime movers of this new normal. Ipapaunawa din po natin sa ating mga kakilala at sa kaiba pa, na hindi po lamang na online ang ating uh, learning delivery. Meron din pong lahat, accessible po siya kasi meron modular din po at saka yung iba pa natin uh, learning mo ano po yan po thank you so much sir okay so from panabo city no from panabo city good am good am po do we need to install new bitnami kahit meron na po uh, during the webinar of the ed ed tech unit naka download na po kasi so kailangan ba daw nila ng bitnami So actually okay na yun kung nakapag-download na sila. So wala nang problema sir, same process lang naman. And then uh, pwede nila panoorin yung video tutorial natin para makuha nila kung paano mag-install ng ating template. Kasi meron din tayong uh, binigay sa kanila na template and it's uh, totally free. Uh, pwede lang i-enhance yung interface ng kanilang LMS para maging ano siya, the same sa pinakita natin kanina. Ah okay sir. So from Tagum City. Uh, ano po ang version ng model ang ida-download? May version so, po ba? Oo, uh, mas maganda yung 3.8.9. Wala uh, 3.9 na version ng model. Uh, mas maganda 'yon. Tapos kung na ano lang nasundan niyo yung video, anyway andun naman yung link. Oo. Uh, updated naman yung link na 'yon kapag nag-download kayo doon, latest naman po yung na-download. Okay. So, nabigyan na natin ng pagkakataon lahat ng mga division offices na mag ma mabasa randomly ang kanilang mga comments, questions, and clarifications mm -hmm. dyan. Pero, yes, uh, sasagutin din naman ng uh, session facilitator lahat na ito ng mga tanong. No? Ibibigay natin sa kanila at uh, bibigyan ng kasagutan ng ating mga uh, session facilitator para at least lahat ng mga na-post na, na mga questions ay talagang uh, mabigyang pansin. Tama ba, John? Yes, and po. Because, and possibly because we are running after nito, John, ano na, John? Uh, yes, we are going to uh, and uh, we're just waiting for Ma'am Janet to uh, enter our um, itong stream here niya po natin para po baka may ilang paalala din po siya. Okay? So, again, sa lahat po ng ating mga participants, Sir Noy, tsaka Sir Pax, ano, na yun po mga ilan po ng mga katalungan na nandun po sa ating padlet, ano po, yun po ay iaayos ng ating uh, training manager na si Sir Pax para po ibigay yun doon sa ating mga respective simulate, uh, at tawag nito, at tawag nga sa Sir Pax, doon sa ating mga session na uh, facilitator, uh, na kung saan po ay masasabi As they will, as they will, doon po naman sa kanilang mga parts. Kasi po, ibibigay na namin ito ng advice sa kanila. Amaya, pagkatapos na. Ayan. So, maraming salamat. Okay, so sa punto po ito, sir, 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 Max, while waiting po sa ating chief na ating pinag-ilog, sir, I think magpapasalamat po po sa inyo. Una po na po sa multiple parts. Sa mga nagawa po natin, um, um, ganito ang pagkakataon. Nagkaroon tayo ng pagkakataon na magsama-sama sa webinar na ito. Ayan po. So, lumon, salamatay kay itagaan mo. Na makagamit din po ng inyong best practice sa inyong school at na introspect po ito sa buong rehiyon. Thank you so much. Dahil na-develop po natin ang sistema nito. Of course, uh, para naman po ito, tulad nga po ng nasabi ng ating direktor kanina, ay uh, itong ginagawa natin ay sama-sama tayo, tulong-tulong tayo para po 
may sakatuparan natin yung adhikain ng ating uh, mga namininulo sa atin na magkaroon naman po ng upliftment, ng uh, pag-asa, ng mas mataas din pong uh, dekalidad pa na edukasyon para po sa ating mga kabataan. Ayan. So once again, Sir Noy, salamat po. Sir. Thank you. Thank you din po, Sir John. So makakasama pa po natin sila sa mga susunod na mga araw. Ano po, huwag po kayo mag-alala at uh, meron naman, kung nais na naman po silang uh, i-access or i-private message, maaari po silang sumagot sa inyo. Uh, pwede nyo pong i-add sila kung nais kayo, may mga katanungan kayo po. Ano po. Pero ala, uh, ano lamang po natin, ano, paalala lamang din po na baka mag-message po kayo ng alas 12 ng, ng gabi o di kaya alauna madaling araw, malilate po yung kanilang... Uh, pagre-reply po niyan. Okay? So, ayun. So, Sir Rene, andyan ka pa po ba, Sir Ren? Okay, yes, John. Okay. Uh, Sir Ren, patungkol doon sa ano, at itong tawag niya. Patungkol po mamaya sa kanilang attendance, ano, Sir Rene? Yung attendance lang mamayang hapon, magsisend tayo ulit ng link? Yes, yes. So, magsisend tayo ng link for their afternoon attendance at exactly 12.45. So, ipa-flash dito sa screen sa 12.45. Uh, uh, ano, sir? Hindi natin siya ma-flash hanggat hindi natin in-schedule ang... Kasi babagohin natin ang link ng wow. ating live mamaya pag natapos na ito na broadcast. So... Idadaan na lang po natin yung link ng attendance na yon sa ating mga CID chiefs sa bawat divisions. Okay. Uh, okay. Para po makapagtala na sila uh, hanggang 1.30. Tama po ba? Okay. Uh, I, I think, um, sorry, sorry po. Uh, na po. Nasabi pa lang ni ma'am na we will start resume our um, session sa hapon po at 1.30. So, 1.30 po tayo mag-i-air ulit. Para po sa impormasyon naman, ang mamayang hapon ay iba na namang mga speakers ang makakasama natin sa iba namang aspeto ng uh, paglilinang at saka uh, ng pagkatuto dito sa ating five-day na regional uh, training of trainers in the learning management system. Okay po. So, Sir Ren, Pakiimbitahan po muna sila, pakibasa po ng ating uh, social media account sa ating FB page, Sir Ren, para po um, share din po nila. Ayan po, Sir Ren. Please do the honor po. Okay. So, please like, no? Please like the CLMD uh, FB page, fb.com, CLMD slash CLMD DepEd ROXI. So, that is the, the CLMD page. So we are inviting all uh, education stakeholders, especially to our teachers, our learners, parents, um, office for personnel of Department of Education, Regional Office 11, uh, Region 11, to like the FB page. Ayan, opo. And of course, Sir Rene, ang atin din pong YouTube channel. Ayan po. Ayan, Sir Ren. Okay, so we also have this YouTube channel. <laughs> So we have CLMD YouTube channel. It's PTPS colon slash slash bitly bit that lee slash YTCLMD DepEd ROXI. So please subscribe, no? Please subscribe and like the YouTube channel so that you will be informed of the latest videos, latest webinars, latest announcements coming from the Department of Education Region 11, especially coming from the Curriculum Learning Management Division, the CLMD team. Ah, yes. Okay. At saka, agahan na lang natin din ang ano, no, ng pagbabalita sa ating mga, mga kaguruan, ano, sir. Kasi sa mga susunod pong araw, yung ating CLMD Connect naman oh. ay i-ere na. Kakakasama yes. po online ang ating mga education program supervisors ng live na live. Ayan po. At ganun din po yung ating mga mm, mga best practices sa ating uh, bawat uh, sangay na kung saan magkakaroon tayo ng iba't ibang uh, um, tawag nito, yung uh, showing ng lahat po ng saan na ba, ano na ba, para mag-encourage din po yung ating iba pang mga 
karatig na mga sangay o oh, nakasamang mga sangay yes, sa buong yes, uh, yeah. so, actually, actually is a platform na, na lahat ng mga guru dito sa Region 11 can share their best practices, their interventions, their innovations so that others can copy, di ba? That is actually a, a good platform that they can showcase, no? they can showcase their um, interventions and innovations. And yes. also, we can present our enhancement programs so that everyone will be aware of our uh, programs. Ayun. And of course, Sir Rene, huwag natin kalimutan, uh, ipaalala muli kung baka may nahuli pa or baka nagkaroon ng sig- uh, problema sa signal, yan po yung uh, instructional video link na gagamitin nila, Sir, para sa pagsasanay nila sa kanilang mga computer. Pakibasa nga po, Sir Rene. Okay, so the instructional link so sa, sa YouTube to, di ba, John? Okay. Apo, sana sa YouTube na yan, sir. Videos, no? We have instructional videos for our learning management system on how you are going to register, how you are going to input, how, how you are going to utilize the learning management system. So just click HTTPS, uh, colon, double slash, bit.ly, uh, slash, capital L, MS, small tutorial. Okay, so just hit the link. Click the link po, yan sa inyong, uh, or you copy it, uh, copy, or i-screenshot nyo na po, ano, para makuha nyo na po yan. Ayan. Okay, so Sir Rene, I think um, nag-aantay pa po tayo kay ma'am, pero siguro mamaya na lang po natin siya makakasama, ano po, Sir Ren. So para yeah. po, tapusin ang umaga natin sa show na ito, Sir Ren, samahan nyo po on screen, tayo po ay mananalangin, ano po. Okay po. Sige po, sa lahat naman po ng aming tagapanood, uh, taga-subaybay ngayon po, na, uh, lahat ng mga teacher participants, kasama po ng ating mga PSDSS, Education Program Supervisors, ang ating mga SDSS, ASDSS, at saka po ang ating mga CID Chiefs sa buong Region 11. Muli po ang uh, pagbati mula sa ating uh, uh, regional office. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisama sa amin sa first day sa unang session po ng webinar na ito at mananalangin na po tayo Panginoon na aming Diyos ibinabalik namin sa iyo ang iba yung kaluwalhatian at kapurihan sapagkat dakilang Ama na isakatuparan namin ang aming layunin na makagawa po kami ng ganitong webinar Salamat ng napakarami sa lahat ng kaalaman at karunungang sinangkap mo sa amin. Patuloy namin itong nagagamit. Nakakatupad din kami ng aming mga tungkulin. O Diyos ng langit, salamat din po ng napakarami sa lahat po ng mga naging bahagi sa ganitong programa. Lalong-lalo na po ang mga tagapanguna sa amin mula sa aming pangrehiyong Direktor, kasama ang Assistant Regional Director, Ganon din po ang lahat ng mga education program supervisors, lahat po ng mga chiefs, lahat po ng mga sangay sa buong Region 11. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga kaguruang nakasama namin ngayon na nagsasagawa ng ganitong webinar. Maawa ka po sanang patuloy mo kaming basbasan, patuloy mo kaming ingatan. Maging inspirasyon namin ang bawat isa, maging inspirasyon namin ang panibagong normal na ito upang patuloy na top din ang aming mga tungkulin. Maawa ka rin pong pakaingatan mo kami sa bawat panahon at pagkakataon kami nagsasagawa ng mga gampanin namin, Ama, upang walang maging abirya, walang maging hadlang sa pagtupad din po ng aming mga gampanin. Naway makapagbigay kami lagi ng luwalhati sa iyo, makapagpuri sa banal mong pangalan. Ingatan mo pa po kami sa buong panahon pa ng aming pagsasahing papawid ngayon. Pakipagbasbasan mo kami ng mga pagpapalat biyayang kailangan. Ganon din po ng aming buong sambahayan. Patawad po sa lahat ng nagawa naming pagkukulang at kasalanan. Sa tanging pangalan at karapatan ng Panginoong Hesus, dakila po naming tagapagligtas. Amen. Ayan po. So, Sir Rene? Sir Ren? Seren? Ayun. Ma'am Luj, are you there? Ma'am Luj, Sir Noy? Lumon? 
Nasaan na ba sila? Ayan. Okay, so Ma'am Luch, ikaw na lang po. Samahan niyo lang po ako. Si Sir Cholo, I think, nakaano din po. Ano? Uh, samahan niyo lamang po ako, Ma'am Luch. Ano? Magbibilang tayo. Tulad niya po na nakasanayan natin bago tayo magtapos. Ay magkakaroon muna tayo ng ating countdown. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye-bye! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to CLMD Connect in support to the Comprehensive Region-Led Learning Continuity Plan LCP. I teach Integrating Technology Academic Community, the Household, ensuring every learner is safe and protected anytime, anywhere. Anchored on Sulong Edokali. This is DepEd Regional Office 11, delivering quality education across Davao Region.